have a bar. I have a bar <clears throat> goblin actually. Uh, okay. Hey. Merry Yay. Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Frank, lead us in. Hey Your everybody, bro. welcome to Between the Rolls. This is <laughs> Oh, you want me to do the oh, leading? Wait, yeah, no, it's your job. Duh. It's your I show. get to do this yeah, tonight. Oh my goodness. All right. So hi everyone. Welcome to Saturday <clears throat> night. Carol. One shot. Kyle's gonna get revenge for every time I make it. It's going talk swimmingly so him. far, Carol. Keep going. Oh, yeah, it's great, great. Hi, so let's see if I remember everything. So it's follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at the YouTube archive. If you want to talk shot, you want to talk about the games and stuff, join our Discord. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, if you want to buy our shit, and we have we have good shit. Um, in fact, there is going to be some artwork that is on my Twitter uh, that hopefully we're going to be turned into a t-shirt about these knuckleheads. <coughs> Uh, you, we have a shop somewhere. I believe that is also scrolling on the screen. Uh, let's see. If you don't want to look at our faces, we have a podcast. And I'm not sure if that is on the screen, but is it, Frank? It's no. not. Oh, we don't have that. It's, <laughs> now, this is the special Christmas screen. So the only thing up there is oh. Hot Fish Games. So if you want any of this, you can always contact Frank at mhoboink at gmail.com. <laughs> Also, if you'd like to sit in and play in one of these crazy one shots, which are alternating <clears throat> Saturdays with uh, what game is it? The Calamity campaign. Everything is C's around here. Uh, please shoot him an email. We'd love to have we'd love to have new players. So uh, let's see. Is that all, Frank? Did I, did I remember everything? I think so. Oh, yeah. Duh, duh, our sponsors. How can I forget the sponsors? Because they're awesome, of course. And he gave me no material for this at all. So I'm just bullshitting. Yeah. So, you know, if your game really stinks, at least the room doesn't have to. Pick yourself up some adventure sets from Oddfish Games. And they really are nice. I actually don't hope mine. I think it's been put away for the time being. But I have uh, welcoming in. And I really like it. Um, and, of course, they have the shine system, which will help you might write gooder than Frank, as he likes to say. There's also uh, how to RPG with your cat. And I know they're working on getting all the Kickstarter stuff out. Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll do another one. It was a really successful Kickstarter. I know that. And what else am I forgetting? I know they have, oh, look, he's got the book of how to RPG. He got it. Yep. Got it two days ago. And yes, they are doing another one. Uh, They're going to do another for the one. Shine system, they RPG base. So are they? So and with the shine system, <laughs> they are going to do. They're eventually. They're working on writing a <laughs> making a book for a D and D specific writing for D and D. I believe. Sure, I'll go with that. <laughs> I think that's what you guys have said. Um, and let's see. And First of course, you give me shit when I do mine, and then you I don't actually pay up. attention to when you give me shit. Actually, yeah, but I never even got any notes on this, so I'm going off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. And then the last but not least, of course, is Pirate Dog gay, uh, Dice. Oh, my God, I can't talk. You know, if you have dice that roll like shit, like I do, I really need to probably contact Pirate Dog Dice to get me some dice for cred because my dice rolls have been nothing but terrible. As anybody who's been watching, well, th three of us here are present, or four of us here are present actually for the games, and one person, well, I guess you are too. I guess you watch, I would imagine, David. So you all of you know how bad my dice rolls are. David's like, uh, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, what, what show? What? what? Cred. I've never heard of Cred, it. Cred, which never will be going on this Thursday. <laughs> I'm at, I've got two insanities, okay? My dice rolls really suck, but. Oh, I'd want to I, dog dice. I got dog way dice. worse than you really quick, all right? <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. You still only have one, <clears throat> mister. But anyways, yeah, when I, when I, I argue about this, <laughs> this, because this is not the game we're playing tonight. But I said, if you want dice that roll pretty well, I mean, my Taron dice rolled really, rolled pretty good for Taron. They don't roll well for anybody else. 
but they're great custom made dice. And I really love that set. Unfortunately, because they don't roll well for anyone else. They are my characters right now. They're kind of put away. Because Frank runs that one shot he promised. You know what? I'm playing tonight, and I should probably have dice now that I think about it. Oh my Goblin fucking dice. god! Oh, math. You really Goblin dice? Mookie's... Oh, the green screen's uh, thrown. You know, no. we take we oh take a god, couple days so... off, and everything goes to hell. It does. <laughs> I know. I was really sad we didn't get to play cacophony because I'm sort of joining the group for the time being. Oh, nice, dude. All right, I guess the <laughs> next thing I'm going to do is we're going to introduce ourselves. Oh, this really is a festive. Uh, that really is a festive screen. I love it. All right, so let's see. I'm in the middle. So hi, my name is Carol. I'm a, a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and this would be the occasion. And uh, let's see. I'll also commission Mini Painter. I have my own Twitch under uh, Muses underscore Touch, where I stream mini painting and chat about whatever uh on saturdays monday nights and wednesday nights and that's all about me and normally i play i play on jaeger in the craig game and i can be seen in between the rules and occasionally one shots and things and i'll be coming back as rosa in uh cacophony so let's see i'm gonna start with kyle who's at my lower right kyle introduce yourself because I'm totally prepared and everything as I Oh come to get on, you can introduce players. yourself. I can introduce myself. Mm-hmm. Uh hi Who are everybody. You? I'm Kyle. I'm here because I got sick uh this weekend and I couldn't visit oh. my family for Christmas. So I have to hang out with these people instead. Oh. I feel terrible, but Carol demanded I show up tonight. I did not. So now you'll feel more terrible. There were two people I, who might have stepped in awful. for you. I have COVID now. Thanks, Carol. You're full of shit. Your game gave me COVID. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Scott contacted me. He would have taken over if he really didn't feel well. I so. don't feel well. Well, you should have you should have backed out and taken a nap. Is you there anything else? I couldn't. He is the, also the he is the awesome GM for Cred too. So <gasps> now in season slash book two, are we? Ooh, uh, not quite there say, yet. How the hell did we do that? I don't we're think like, we're there oh yet. All right, all right, oh, all right. Are? Anyways, next person up will be David. Hey, I'm David. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am David. You may know me from uh, our Tuesday show between the roles, <laughs> also from. Uh, our other shows that are uh, Cacophony every other Thursday night, opposite of Cred, and also the Calamity uh, shows, uh, campaigns both A and B. Uh, in Cacophony, I play Zadar, the arcane trickster changeling. Uh, on the A side of Calamity, I play Ingve, the Ravenkin uh, druid, and I also play Crow, who is the thief rogue scout uh on the b-sides so when i'm at there like i said you can catch me on btr and uh yeah you can always feel free to hit me up in the twitter first you can follow me on twitter as dn devious because i usually play a rogue anyway so that's hey, me oh, to yes who are you playing to speaking which who are you playing tonight we never even did that yeah that's it i was going to introduce my character my yeah, character sure. tonight i'll be playing toughy poke master you might know him uh, if you saw our christmas show last year he is the yeah he's the dancer of the bunch so anyway by the way in the artwork for him that our awesome artist d created i think he's also the pimp pretty much that yeah. looked like a pimp outfit kyle it who are you playing tonight outfit. we'll go back to kyle kyle who are you playing tonight tonight i'll be playing frog Munch, the mad bomber uh uh who now has 27 bombs at his disposal just for the fun of it and no care whatsoever for other people in this party i will also say since last time we saw frog Munch, uh blitzen has gone missing uh but uh, Frog Munch has these cool new arrows now. <laughs> You're not right. All right, next up is DJ. DJ. Well, just to follow up on that, uh, 
by the way, fun fact, uh, male reindeer lose their antlers during the winter. They fall Rod off. Munch was females. unaware of that fact. Females, <laughs> yeah. pregnant females keep their antlers during the winter. Fun Which fact. means, as I said, the people that the reindeer actually pulling the sleigh a bunch of badass women. Yeah. Reindeer. All right. So, uh, I, hello, I am DJ. Uh, I'm not really on the social media because not very social. Uh, <laughs> but for those who actually watch our screams, like the, the two people, um, I play Bran in the cred campaign, uh, the one that just gave Carol's character another phobia. Aside from that, I GM and play games uh, with other parties um, all over the place. That's right. So, yeah, I do a lot of that. Tonight, I will be playing Moogie Leaf Plucker, uh, the druid uh goblin and his um <clears throat> uh leshy familiar uh leaf burst who's actually kind of useless in many ways hey he's, whatever you gave him some useful stuff to do you gotta use it though we gotta get there first. also he's he's a little <laughs> he's a little hall basically unless is a little plant uh plant person little tiny guy and he's i just determined he's a holly he's a holly plant being weren't you gonna sing uh when my character comes out oh i see okay why okay. am i um, gonna do it la- <laughs> last but not least is our intrepid least. leader <laughs> frank folks if you don't recognize me thanks for showing up this must be your first time i'm here for damn near everything except for the cred campaign uh i tonight i'll be playing dito big womp a goblin warrior extraordinaire hater of all and uh <laughs> roller of shit shall we say uh thanks for joining us on the show and let's go ahead and get this game started carol it's all you all right uh and also kyle heidi says hi <laughs> heidi <laughs> i did have to say that because you're heidi... just here to watch me die from covid tonight <laughs> I hope it's not cool. <laughs> All right. So, a year ago, a little recap of a year ago, these four goblins wanted to join the ranks of Santa's elves and make toys. <laughs> hey, Frank. Frank's writing bad things in chat. <coughs> hey, you know, we're like 13% down here. <laughs> <laughs> It's a quarter after. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Anyways, uh, basically, you guys wanted jobs as San- you know, making toys like Santa's elves, but you're not elves. So you had to prove yourself. So you had to go to the island of Misfit Toys and fix up a toy. And boy, did you fix up a toy? You got the Dolly for Sue, who is now known as just Dolly. And we'll tell, I'll tell you in a minute which, where she ended up. And as a result, and you also defeated the abominable snowman. Uh, you know, this is a different one. It's not the bumble that's putting the, you know, has no teeth and puts the star in the top of the Christmas. You know, this is another one because there are more than one up in the North Pole. So that's where you're at. So you get your jobs. You've been working there happily for the past. You're making fantastic creations, all sorts for children all over the world. Uh, you're having grand time. It's a... Uh, it's everything and more than you had hoped for. So right now, it's the end of a long, hard day of work at you four blowing off steam at Mrs. Claus Cinder Club, hanging out in the Candy Cane Lounge. There you go, DJ. And watching the improved Dolly Pursue or Dolly doing some pole work on a red and white striped stripper pole. And you're having a great time. However... In runs Mrs. Claus, whose face turns as red as Santa's suit, the sight of the gyrating, mostly naked doll. She runs up to you, clearly in a mission more important than worrying about the entertainment. I disagree. We can fix you up later, Mrs. Claus. We're busy right now. Well, I desperately need your help. You were the four who defeated the abominable snowman, so it's likely you're the best four for the job. <laughs> as she, she says she needs help. Frog Munch is pulling out these jugs. <laughs> All right. Now, 
no, no, no. I don't need that kind of help. No. She says it in a stage whisper, trying not to be heard by the rest of the elves present at the club. Oh, uh, well, that's a problem since I'm singing loudly. <laughs> Jingle bells, <laughs> Caden smells, sad rain, late I dig. <laughs> I need another <laughs> drink over here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Well, she, the she's karaoke t- singer. <laughs> She'll tap Moogie on the show like, please listen, listen, just listen. Moogie, Moogie has the loud singer feet. Uh, yes, he does. <laughs> but I need your help. <clears throat> so she's singing in a stage whisper, trying not to be heard by the other elves in the club. As Dolly is a very, very popular attraction. Santa's gone missing. And it's so close to Christmas. She'll explain further. The story is Santa caught a bad cold a week ago and his doctor, Dr. Wiggum Kolarski, was called in. He told Santa he should take a break this year from his deliveries and go somewhere tropical to recover and get some rest. As it was clear to him how run down Santa is. He also tells Santa that no one cares anymore, believes in the magic of Christmas or Santa himself. I know that's a lie and all a bluster, but Santa believed him and went on vacation to the Isle of San Margolia, taking Vixen with them and intending not to return until after Christmas. I remained here to ensure Christmas happens, but it really should be he who delivers the toys. (sighs) Ah. I just got a call from the South Town in a day spa from the front desk worker, Iggy. It's where he checked in two days ago. There's now no sign of him, and his, he and his suitcases are all gone. This isn't like him to just disappear like this, and I fear there's been foul play involved. So I need you to do two things. First, you need to find Santa and bring him home. Secondly, you need to find out what I suspect is true, that people still believe in Christmas and especially in him. If he's too depressed to continue on as Santa, Christmas as we know it will no longer happen and you will be out of a job. Oh. Yeah, and you guys really like your jobs, by the way. I said, uh, bolt up right and go, Mrs. Claus, when did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> she already knows the message. Frog Munch covers it. up Dita's bolted upright. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a candy cane in your pocket, Dita? <laughs> <laughs> I've been tipping. So, the first thing, she just kind of rolls her eyes and uh, she goes, First thing, here, here's a map. This will take, this will show you how to get there. But you need a little magic because otherwise you're not going to be able to fly the sleigh. You actually can fly the sleigh without the reindeer with this magic. But, um, you know, we do it for appearances. It looks a little weird. We just need you to get there. So she takes out a wand and taps each of you on the head and says, I grant you the magic of Christmas with the magic. You're allowed to take the small sleigh, the small sleigh and fly it to San Margolia. And once and once each of you can channel the power of winter if needed. And if you guys are all on Discord, I posted it, but to tell what, what it is, if you want to write this down, you get, essentially, it's a it's like a cone of cold, but it's called the Cone of Winter's Breath. It's a cold evocation spell. It's a two action cast, which means out of your three actions, it will take two if we are in combat. Uh, and it has a verbal, uh, and somatic and verbal components, because basically you say the incant, she'll tell you what it is. I didn't really make up something. Are you, um, bitch? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that would be, be funny. But uh, by the, uh, let's see. I can't think of anything right now. I was like, the chill of the North Pole. All right, there you go. And you, you gesture with your hand. I hand it's, frog munch back his uh, cloak that was covering my North Pole. No, no, no. Just, I, no, no you, just, you just yell out, Ice, ice Baby! Ah, oh, there nice. we go. Ice, Ice Baby. All right, there you go. Uh, it's a 30-foot nice. 30, 30 cone. I mean, I'll, we're not, we're playing theater of the mind here, so, you know, 
I will determine that when it gets. Uh, there is a save. You keep this in mind, guys. Saving throw reflex DC twenty because if one of you fuckers decides to just hit at everybody, why are you uh, looking at me when you say that? Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at all of you because I think <laughs> all of you will do it. Um, and there's varying things, and it's sixty six cold damage to anything in the area. Oh, yeah, it's a good. It's it's good. That's you get one for this That's whole cold. trip. You also can cast like little minor, you find you can cast a little minor prestidigian type things. So you can, you know, it's like you can make some snowflakes or things like that. <clears throat> you know, just fun stuff. Make up whatever you want. I cast it so that Frogmon uh, produces uh, snowflakes coming out of his butt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you are so undignified. And she goes off and off. Do so. I get to dodge when she tries to touch me? Do you really not want? Do you really not want this? I'll take I want it. the power. Of oh no no uh, no! If he tries power? to dodge, we just all we just all grab him, hold him down, <laughs> and ice ice baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll I, come I up, asked right? Dolly to attend it with us for obvious reasons. <laughs> what? I I, uh, I asked Dolly to come with us. Dolly's not going to go with you. Please. <laughs> nope. Hey, cast the snowflakes Dolly, that look Dolly, like farts out of my Dolly, butt. <laughs> hey, Dolly, hey, 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 she's got work to do tonight. Dolly right? makes way too much money <sighs> to want to go on this trip. Oh, so this is not a noble quest. This is just a oh, half ass quest. It is a yes. noble quest, but she isn't going. Look, yeah. look, we were chosen. Yes, it is a half ass quest. <laughs> Pretty much. I go up to Dolly. I give her 10 gold pieces and say, I need the goat milk back. And I proceed to uh, milk the goat milk <laughs> that oh we had installed. That's going to prove you remember that. I am not make that much money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I leave. Lord. All right. Anything else? Anybody else wants to do while you're there? Watch oh. Mrs. Claus leave. She yeah. leaves. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's, she's got a big butt. Got the bucket, badonka donk. Yeah, Cannot lie. Good. Boss lady. <laughs> She's got all that Christmas cheer. <laughs> wow. Good thing I'm wearing my mistletoe undies. Let's go, boys. <laughs> all right. Now, you can either leave tonight or you can leave in the morning. Oh, we're leaving now. You're leaving yeah, now? Absolutely. Dude, we, 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 we just got uh, keys to the ride. We certainly did. <laughs> Ask for two drinks to go. One for each hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm hoping Dita is not the one driving because no, no, driving Tuffy, would be really Tuffy's bad. driving. You know, right. It's Tuffy. It's Tuffy he, sober. He's got the reins and he's well. No, no, he's he's about, let's let's face it. It's gonna just steer. end up with all of us drunk, passed out, and uh, Leaf uh, and my uh, familiar is gonna be driving. <laughs> yeah, we got a designated driver. Yes. There we go. <laughs> basically, basically, my version of Groot is driving by the end of it. All right, that's it. All right. Uh, yeah, Tuffy's kicking back and all that. You know, he has got his spiked eggnog and all that, and he's just like, oh yeah, <laughs> let the let the Lushy drive. <laughs> uh, Lushy might there'll be like a rudder on the back of the sleigh. Let's say that. So you called. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the magic of Christmas, which you guys all have imbued in you. So you can kind of think your way down there. All right. So you were handed a really good, really good and beautifully drawn map. But you being goblins, your abilities probably to read said map and pay attention are probably a little questionable. But here's what we're going to do. This is sort of going to be a little one round skill challenge. Everybody go ahead and make a survival check to see if you can follow the map to the island. Can I make a nature check to identify the landmarks on the way? Yes, that is actually a really cool idea. Go right ahead. Yeah. yeah. I, I, by the way, that is a thing. If people come up with a different idea, I will take it. Did you really Four. roll three? No, nope, no, nope, wait, wait. I'm just All right, wait, to see. wait. All right. Nope. Okay, I got to do it this way. Uh, what is this again? Nature or no, no. Well, he, Frog Munch is going to do nature, but everyone else, it's survival to find your way down. Oh, okay. I'll oh, go shit. around. Yeah. I'll go around the table. All right, DJ. Uh, thirty. Moody? Yes. Did you nineteen plus 30? eleven? Nineteen oh, plus eleven. I actually need to grab a pen. 
Holy crap. My goblin okay. dice like this character. All right, so you rolled a 30, so that would be... There's that That's one bright success. northern light. That is. <laughs> We're a just going directly away from it. <laughs> So that's a critical <laughs> success because you beat it by 10. You beat it exactly by 10. And that's two successes. Uh, Frank, what'd you get? I rolled a four for an 11. So there's no map at the bottom of either of my mugs. I continue to check. All right. So that is a failure. That is not a critical failure, thankfully. <laughs> you rolled a four, right? Four. So four that's seven. okay. So that's. Ends up being one. Okay. Uh, Tuffy? Uh, Tuffy is a 17. Rogues are the skill monkeys in, the, in Pathfinder. <laughs> all right. We're boring, Frank. Yeah, 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 yeah. we are. Frog Munch, can you <laughs> Frank pull Frank is this also up? sick. <laughs> oh, no. So, oh, no. Uh, Frog Munch uh, is making uh, little packages. Uh, with some leftover paper. So every once in a while, he leans over the sleigh and drops something. And as he does, he calls out something he sees down there. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just see this boo. <laughs> uh, Frog Munch rolled a 19 as he's calling out things. I'm at the back drinking. <laughs> All right. I'm going to count that. That's Tuffy close enough. slides his Run DMC cassette into the split, yeah, <laughs> the Slay's no cassette player, and uh, yeah, Run, uh, you know, Christmas and Hollis starts playing. <laughs> that was not a real. I mean, other than the critical, that was not a really good round of checks, guys. No, no, actually, I think it's um all. It's just um stuck with Mariah Carey's. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's no. why he never uses a sled because it's got a broken cassette player and it's just stuck in there oh and you God. can't turn it off and you put your dmc but there's something already in there that you can't get out yeah i can't god damn it it's mariah carey the wind catches your dmc and <laughs> get me a pencil somebody get me a pencil so we had one critical success and basically three <laughs> That's about right. Uh, that's about, that, that that's right. about a minus one. Guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I don't think my familiar. Can, well, uh, actually, no. Will, uh, you know what? No, it. my I'll... familiar can roll. All right, your familiar can roll, and I will actually. Count God damn it! Our... That's only a. That's only a ten. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Jesus Christ! We're going He's just going desert. like I am. Wait, great. wait, no, you, no, you had a critical failure. Sorry, because you rolled under a ten. Oh Jesus! Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Oh, Lord. So as you guys, this is so ridiculous. So as you guys were going along, it's not so much, you do you do get rather lost. Why did we end up in Shelly <laughs> Oh, God. <coughs> Eventually you get there, but you are rather tired, guys. You're going to have a bit of fatigue. So you're all fatigued. It's a minus one status penalty to... Armor class and saving throws. And you can't use exp I'm not worried too much about that um, in terms of exploration stuff, because honestly. Uh, but anyways, I'm just going with the minus one penalty, the AC and saving throws. So that's your fatigue. Uh, let's see. And also, here's what happens. So as you fly in, you get lost. And then you do sort of find your way back on track, but you end up right in the middle of what it's like a battle zone. <laughs> Basically, you see it's the weird old Yankee ice. song. <laughs> no, not quite. You see, the night Santa went crazy. So, my question is: Any of you have any of you figured out what special this is based on? No. I know Christmas you're without Santa Claus. I, yes, I, it's the year without a Santa Claus. And if you remember Santa. who our favorite two brothers are in that. Oh, you yeah. see ice bolts and you see fight you see little balls of fire coming back and forth and you guys fly right into this battle yeah, so, you're, right now. so you're all gonna take things from the back is, the, music, guys just, is the is the essential music playing during this absolutely battle? absolutely <laughs> well they're, they're like singing each other you know I'm mr white christmas 
I'm Mr. Mr. Snow. So it's like we're on the uh, It's a Small World, right? Going through this <laughs> battle with all these little heat misers. And, uh, no, no there's, only, no, there's only one of each. And they're both oh, on okay. like floaty things. And they're basically chucking things at each other. Okay. I'm going to chuck both of my empty <laughs> mugs at one of them. I chuck things as well. <laughs> I'm chucking it at five odd heat miser. <laughs> they're doing what? Chucking my empty mugs. Uh, okay, well, they just kind of fall off because you're. Th- this is a pretty big battlefield. You're never gonna get there. You're like. Get me right closer, Groot. <laughs> <laughs> they are a long way. They're actually pretty far from each other. And considering that they control the weather and such, they are kind of like they're demigods, in my view. Thinking about so, throwing my mug at Groot. <laughs> So you guys, because you're tired and you're fly right in the middle of this, you're going to take, you each take six points of, now if you have any, uh, uh, if you have any resistances or anything that, that do come and fly, either, oh, I got to roll a D, whatever. Carol just wants to hurt us, that's all. She does. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay. So here I'm resistant uh, to DM damage. It's okay, so okay. it's six points of cold damage. Oh. And it's only that six it. points and four <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage as you get pelted by snowballs on his folly. Uh, that happened to me once in Tijuana, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up none too happy. What do you guys want to do? I already what? said it, but apparently we aren't uh, close enough. Well, yet. if they're if they're yeah. hurting us, then we need to hurt them back. Yeah, we do need to yeah. hurt back. The thing of it is, the thing of it is, I'm not gonna make you make insight checks or anything like this on it. You do, you do, they they are very focused on each other. They're not really focused on you. A little bit of surprise. You're just it's just <laughs> exactly. you're just collateral damage. And you do know they are demigods, so you think maybe taking them on might be a bad idea. We are the bad idea squad. So I was about to say, have you not watched the show from last year? I begin to urinate out the back of the sleigh as we pass over them. <laughs> ooh, ooh, do it in the do it in the uh, uh, the cold guys one because then you can make it snow yellow. Ooh, nice. It's just going to turn to icicles. Turn, man. The peas coming back in. Oh, dude, yeah, no, it turns to icicles and then shardalize him with shard pee. All right, let's How see. Much if I, actually, for I have a lot. Oh, I got a lot of these here. Okay, so uh, okay, so let me let me remember how I wrote this up. So you either you can do a couple things. One, you can try to fly out of it. Two, you can try to land and get below it. <clears throat> uh, every round, you every round remain in the battlefield. You will have to make reflex saves or continue to take damage from the heat or ice and bludgeoning damage from, you know, from the, from the snowballs or fireballs, or whatever, little rocks, they're fiery. Will we provoke an attack if we try to go through? You know, you, you, they're not close. Remember, they're not focused on you for starters. You're okay. literally just taking, you're taking damage from uh, your collateral damage. Where do okay. we need to go right. now that we're back on track? Well, I said you right now. You need to get the fuck out of this battleground. Oh, let's go. You down. know where you know where We're you know which down. way you're headed. So I mean, you could just basically keep going. If across. not, I'll just jump out of the sled. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll dive, dive, dive to get out of the way. I was gonna say, uh, I personally, I'm thinking we're we're looking for a uh, a horse skeletons or one really tall skeleton bard. What? What? Night Before for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't think he's around. Although that'd Name be fun. Tim. Tim the Bard. <laughs> so All let right. me see. All right. So the battlefield basically, Aaron, is about, is 200, basically, I think it's two. Let me see. I wrote all this down. Where the hell are they? Oh, yeah. They are, they, okay. So here's what you see, anyways. Heat miser is they're both up a hundred feet standing on cold misers on like a flying sheet of ice, snow covered ice. That's what I wrote. Heat miser is same as staying what looks like a burning raft of fiery logs tied together. And they are 200 feet away from each other. 
uh, while they each have a huge range for the spells, they're only really intent on blowing each other up. It's as if the sleigh is outside the Valkyrie. If you get outside, so basically you get a clear 100 feet and your sleigh moves 40 feet around. So, or you can go down. Down. There's still risks in that, but you can go down. Well, go. And that I'm will, not saying that. You're 100 yeah, feet. We are. You are 100 oh, we're going feet down. Up. We're diving. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're 100 feet up. It will still take 40 feet, but it, you will only like when you if you were to go out, it would take you three turns. And I'm going to say for this because the snowballs <clears> is <throat> they're staying somewhat high. Um, you're going to go down, and maybe I'll give you a bonus as you get lower. Uh, I want it's to only evade. Be two turns. I want to take evasive maneuvers and less uh, and uh, lean. <laughs> Or uh, yeah, lean uh, lazily to the left. With okay, the Millennium so you want to go down? So all right, so first round, I'm, make. I'm a, gonna barf. Make a everybody. Uh, let's see, everybody make a reflex save. Ooh, I got plus five. Ah. Ah, Twenty-seven. Oh. Sixteen. All right, twenty-seven. Oh, that's gonna make it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, la 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 la. 20. 20? Okay, mm-hmm. you make it. Uh, movie? 18. I don't quite make it. But it's only you gave it a second or one. I don't make it then. <laughs> What'd you roll? I rolled a five. Oh. oh Frog Munch rolled a five? No, I rolled oh. a 15. You rolled a 15, okay. And you rolled a what, Boogie? Well, I got a total of eight. Okay, yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, so you, they're both, they're basically a failure. Uh, you're going to take. Three po- oh, I got to roll. Let's see which kind it is. You're gonna be dead before right, so you three co- So it's more three points of cold damage and five points of bludgeoning. And here's the thing I gotta do. Here's now. Here's resolving what happens to the sleigh because of course it's starting to take hits too. Uh, I affix an explosive device to the sleigh. Tell everybody <laughs> to get out, and I trigger it. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna take a lot of falling damage from this height. I don't care. Uh, let's see. I, <laughs> I think... still got hit points. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Did I not actually? Oh, like a dum dum. I actually forgot to put the put the put the freaking armor class of the thing. All right. So the sleigh. That's gonna be a miss. That's gonna be a hit. Are there any bags has... of holding in this thing? What's that? Are there no. any bags of holding in here? No, no, they come in later. Okay, so the sleigh doesn't really seem to take any damage that first round, even though a uh, uh, snowball plunks it. I'm going to blow it up anyway. <laughs> You're going to need it to get home, you dumb dumb. Of course, you know. No, we have the power of Christmas to get us home. No, you have to have a sleigh to fly in. Uh, we or... are doing this in typical goblin fashion. We burn whatever we got <laughs> to get us here to make sure we can't turn around and run. The you do eagles whatever you will want. take us back. <laughs> All right. So, oh, everybody made this save. So, actually, have that damage. By the way, it's half. I thought you said we didn't. Wait, no, you all. Save. No, wait. Those of you rolled over twenty, it's half. Those of you rolled under twenty, it's full damage. That's what it was. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I made you a have DM before, right? <laughs> I have DM before. All right. Successfully is the question. So you move forty feet down. Go ahead and make another round of of saves. Oh jeez. Oh please. There's two okay. rounds of saves. Same answer. Twenty seven. Okay, you you just succeed. Give me more damage. Hang on. Oh no. Six. I'm so sorry, guys. Twenty <laughs> six. Yes. You save. Okay, yeah. Tuffy. Uh. Let's see, uh, 14 and 13, so 27. So. Wow, okay. So you guys damn, save, damn. so you take, you each take six <laughs> total points of damage. Uh, I didn't say I saved. What? No, I know I got that. less. I know you did it. 16. Which, you rolled a 16? Total okay. of 16. Okay, so it's not a critical failure, so you're good. So it's 12 points of damage. Jesus. I'm like uh, half. Do you, do, you, do you have any um, resistances to have to worry about? You no, don't, right? but I'm down half. Okay. That's fine. Do but, you have any healing potions like in dying. this bullshit Wait, what did you roll again? Say you 16, right? I rolled a three on the die. 
I have a plus 13. That is a right. total of 16. Yeah, so no, you didn't quite make it, even if I give you a bonus, because you are nope. lower. Let me make a couple of attack rolls. Oh, that 19 is going to get. That'll be dead before I hit the ground. <laughs> oh. You're, no, no, this, no, you're actually, you're good because after this, you're not taking any more. You're going to get actually underneath the, uh, <clears throat> the fire. So let's you know see. what? I have unbreakable goblins, so I can have my fall damage on and just jump out of this bullshit brick. So it has. I believe I can fly. <laughs> so it takes, so the sleigh is going to take, because I rolled like shit on the other one. But I rolled a 19, which I'm going to say is a crit. Uh, takes eight. So it takes. All right. But the slate, the slate takes some damage that time, but it's still going. And you guys get underneath and you land. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm going to eat some freaking berries. Go right ahead. I'm just popping both of them, too. Go right ahead. So. What is that? Popping a Merling. I know we're not doing encounters, Snorting and you them. guys can do you guys can do a rest too if you if you want. Did, did we each get two good berries or just him? No, it's just no, that. I'm making them. Oh, okay. I'm just making my own berries. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. <laughs> Are they the uh, Dingle variety? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Drink, uh, my elixir they're, they're, of life. They're <laughs> growing on the leshy. <laughs> All right, so. I guess this is so let me get the so it looks like this was it's yeah, heightened to level sweet. three. Yeah. So do I get to cast this on three berries? Uh let me look it up. I have all of your character sheets here, so I can look this stuff up. I'd like to kneecap the DM. <laughs> It's height when you can target, yes, you can target additional berries. So ah. you tar target berry with the bounty of nature, turning into a good berry that can heal and sustain far beyond its number capacity. Everybody will branch of it does. You eat the good berry with an interact action rate. It, although it's not like the old one where one berry would cause heal one hit point, you get 1d6 plus, plus four hit points. Yeah. I, I, eat, I cast it on three, eat three, get 22 back. I'm still down hit points. <laughs> wow! Yeah, man. you see, yeah. it was much. brutal, man. It was brutal. <laughs> man. My face is covered in berry juice now. As I rip them from my lushy, uh, lushy. It's like get, get over here. <laughs> you see, Frog Munch. He actually pulls out what looks like blood bags, <laughs> pours them together, <laughs> takes some magic snow with a carrot sticking out of it, touches it in there, spins it up with the little carrot sticks, chugs it down. And uh, that's uh, 21 hit points for one use there. <laughs> nice. But, uh, it's from nice. one special blend of reindeer blood and elf blood. <laughs> and then you use Frosty the Snowman because he comes back every year. <laughs> and that's how he heals. <laughs> oh, man. He just, comes, he just put the magic hat on. He's like, oh, I'm alive. Oh, my God. What are you doing to me? <laughs> All right. Um, anybody else doing anything else right now? Um, he comes no. into saw every year. Unsheathing my weapon. I'm like looking to, to get me? some payback. <laughs> yeah, no, these I, guys hurt us. I want to kill them. As I said, that they're once again they're intent on each other. Like they didn't give two fucks about you guys. Let's go to their place and burn it to the ground. <laughs> you have no <laughs> idea where that is. That's got to be big. It is, but it's it's not in this world per se. Frog Munch looks for the giant ice castle, and then for the <laughs> lava volcano. They're not they're, literally Frog right Munch next door to each idea. other. Yeah. <laughs> they're literally just neighbors, and they're like they're fighting over. Uh, you know, you did something to my lawn. Yeah, they got a cedar fence that separates. Them. <laughs> the, the variance is wrong on the fence. <laughs> I mean, I will put this way. I do have stats if you really want to fight them, but um, um, it's probably not going to go well. Not I funny. <laughs> <laughs> where, where the hell is Santa? I want to go. They are home. 100 feet up, too. Where is this? Where is this resort or whatever it is? Yeah. All right. All right well, you do have basically you you can you can you can try to talk to them and try to talk them down from the stupid battle. 
Oh, I'm, I'll, we, or I'll, you can. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna fight. Them. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of funny. I did put options in if you wanted to try to deal with them. You Question. Can, yeah. If if we fly the sleigh directly up one of their asses, how much damage will that do to a divine spirit? Not enough. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I vote that. As I said, I did stab them out. I call ro- railroading. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> They're twice as powerful as you, so I'll put it that way. Only twice? There are four, four of us. Four of us. Four of us. <laughs> two and two. I like those odds. Yeah. <laughs> well, we go up to six level if we do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what ha- if you did not notice, you went up a level from last year. So every year we you did. go up another we level. Did. Every year you go up another level. Should yeah, you I, succeed in When we get to mission, level 20, we're just we're just going to take if, over Christmas. Keep in mind, if you <laughs> fail in this mission, you will lose your jobs and you will not go up the level. <laughs> so well, you just, can either... All right, so there are ways you could go. You can either stay real low and get the fuck out of here and just head to the island, or you can engage with them. Um, you can fight them. Mm, mm, mm. Does that mean we're like on the ocean or something right now? Uh, no, it's island. basically you're not quite on the ocean. You're inland a bit, a little bit. <laughs> but basically, it's where it's. Are the they boundary. within sixty feet of me? Uh, no, they're hundred feet up. All right, I need to get on the sled and go up a little bit then. <laughs> you Are know, you if, we, if all four of us say "ice, ice, baby" on heat miser, we can put that bitch down, <laughs> and ice miser owes us. It's true. <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, you Let's there's one there's this. one there's one thing I'll we give only you get one. to use this ah, once. Ah, hold on, hold on. Yes, you do get one piece of knowledge here, guys. You already know that you are as denizens of the North Pole. That uh, I a uh, cold miser already does look on you favorably, and you also probably know. I mean, you've heard tales of these guys. You're in the North Pole. And you also know that in spite of the fact they bicker like this and fight and likely, I mean, you're on the border where it's starting to go from cold weather to warm. It's like the Dick Mason Dixon, Mason Dixon. Don't say it. (laughs) I'm going to say it. It, Well, that's still it. It's just, that's basically the dividing line between the North and the South. That's all I'm saying. All right. Um, You know, (laughs) I know it can be a touchy subject. No. Uh, basically, it's, it's 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 the boundary <laughs> between their territory. Right, right. Yeah, oh, I understand territory. <laughs> so, I've got, so there's your options. What would you like to do? Well, uh, are we seriously thinking about? He's going up. <laughs> I'll do what the group does. However, if you get well, if you get too high, you're going to end up right back in it. How bad do these guys fight it's, normally? Like collateral damage. Here's what I'm going to do. I think they're just grumpy old men. They, they are really just grumpy old men. Sure, but like, do they oh, make tornadoes that then take out the entire state of Kentucky and candle factories in the way? Wow, wow. <laughs> Soon. And oh my goodness, does that mean that uh, uh, Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus tell them they can't leave? <laughs> 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 oh jeez. Oh, yes. Good thing they can't watch us right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna rule because because of the way this worked and you, you know, 40 feet, 80, it took you 80 feet before you get clear. The most you can go up is 20 feet, maybe 30 feet. Yeah, All it's, it's, it's gonna take three back rounds in. for us to get up there. So, so that will it's actually not, not quite get you to the distance where you can hit them. Because you're All right, if we ignore these I did mofos, the, these non-essentials, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what what are we looking to do? I said you can just go. You can just uh, stay. All right, let's go. Yeah, go. we're supposed to rescue fat ass. So let's yeah. 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 yeah, so we're supposed yeah. to rescue fatty. And instill the joy of believe in this guy, believe in this drunk, you know. I like the idea stuff. that He's these four drunk. goblins call him fatty. You don't call him <laughs> Santa Claus. Chubbs. <laughs> Chubbs. <laughs> we'll call him no, Chubbs. only his wife calls him Chubbs. <laughs> how, about, how about Tubby? <laughs> Let's go rescue Tubby. 
I'd say oh, snowball, right, but, right, you know. All right, all right. So you can go. I mean, if you want to toss one thing on your way out, I'll let you. But you, were, you, you are a bit out of reach. I did that back at the bar. <laughs> All right, so you Well, go back. I mean, if I was a bard and we were playing another game system, I would just cast Big B Hand and just give him the finger as we're driving by. <laughs> now, this time, I was going to say, all right, so you're going, right? You're yeah. Just going. Okay, so yeah, you managed to sneak underneath the flying snowballs and things and fire. How the hell do we in. sneak with a sled? Well, they don't, they're not really paying much attention to you anyway. It's a stealth sled. You managed to just... <laughs> Got that red light on the <laughs> you back. Managed to just, boing. All right, sneak is not the right term. Jesus, guys, come on. <laughs> so basically, you just kind of, you know, squirt underneath and then then back up. And it's you're like not that bar. far from the thing. You're not that far from the ocean. I said, you're not on the ocean, but you weren't that far. Stuffing such a terrible... Squirt thing. underneath. Now, <laughs> now, real quick question. So, Tubbs... I knew that was going to get from his wife and goes to a spa. <laughs> yep. and we're going to drag his ass back. He's going <laughs> to fucking fire us for that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I oh, know what went, Santa's remember, doing. Wait, 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 wait. But remember, he went missing. And she thinks uh-huh. it's foul play. So he might be uh, very to go thankful. see some special ladies at, a, at another parlor. That's all. I he's mean, check it on the naughty list. <laughs> like he checked. Oh, he's really like, checking that naughty list. He checked in there for like a month. You know, he was not coming back for Christmas. That's not a vacation. That's called rehab. <laughs> yeah, that's rehab. That's 28 days. We'll rescue him, but I'm taking his coin. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting his coin. Now we know why he's so. always jolly and red-faced. <laughs> yep. That so button base- knows. There God, you go. too much eggnog for him. I was going to say, so basically... He, he was supposed to be gone for like a month and he's gone after like and he's not at the end for two days so after two days so yeah, something he's, is he's, wrong. he's off the wagon or off the sled <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ all right guys <clears throat> you do make your way the rest of the way there to the tropical island of San Margolia and the resort town of South Town. It is made up of a lot of inns, beaches, taverns, swimming pools, and large green areas areas dedicated to the sport of swing away, aka golf. Whoa, whoa, this whoa, whoa, whoa. Own... What type of place is this? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be pissed weird. <laughs> but what chases a white ball around a little a little white ball around strike and try to put in a small hole that has a decorated backboard? All right, so I changed a little bit. The centerpiece of this town is the South Town Inn and Day Spa. A large, light, sand-colored complex of buildings, complete with a landing port and lighthouse. Uh, somebody, we get to pick one, gets to make an acrobatics check to land the sled. The sled. Oh, okay. Plus ten. Uh, plus ten. I got a plus ten over here as well. Okay. Uh, Tuffy's pretty good on acrobatics. He's got a plus thirteen. So, can we aid Tuffy in any way? Yes, you can. <laughs> let me look up something on aid checks because I think this is not like okay, it's not like the aid checks of old where it was just you roll uh, ten and you get a plus two. I think it changed in this. Okay, I want to. I could be getting my systems confused too. I'm going to lick sure my awesome. eyebrow and smile creepily at the other patrons here. As we crash. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the ride, ladies? Okay, so the first thing is you all need to explain. Give me an explanation. All right, so. Yep, explain okay, what? so you have to explain what you're doing to aid. Oh, oh so the creator... I'm not helping him at all. Oh, no, no, we're just, we're, we're, we're just making a train <laughs> behind him, just pulling <laughs> yes. him back. Trying to pull the reins back, it's just going to look like a bobsled team. That's Actually, about to flip it's a over ru- remember it's, it's a rudder. You don't have any reins at the moment. Oh, I mean, okay. the reins don't do anything. There's a rudder. All right. Well, we're just doing the same thing, but backwards, so we look even more stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what you get in our aid checks and and, pa- and Pathfinder two are a lot more difficult. Yeah. The, so you have to roll. They don't want you to help people. It's like a DC twenty. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. We roll oh, oh, I rolled a 19. Do I have any bonuses? Uh yeah, yeah, acrobatics. So you oh. made it. Yeah. Okay, good. I ate 24. 20. I yanked on his ears eight? really hard 
Kyle, did you, ah! did you, you get it too? Okay, so you get, you're going to have an additional plus six. I believe that still is. David, okay. we're elephant walking you. We're pretty much. <laughs> <nice. laughs> we're practicing some of the positions. Everybody <laughs> has a hand on a rudder. Oh, wait, wait. What were the, give me the numbers again. There was, and nobody rolled a third. 30. Right? You did uh, roll 19 30. 19 plus 13 is 32. Oh wow! So you made it by ten. I'm either uh, critting or failing hard. You're you're critting. <laughs> and let's see. Are you a master at that? Does that make you a master? I didn't make you a master. Are you a rudder master by any chance, Boogie? A rudder master. I'm pretty sure now. that is a term that I'm going to use for now on. Okay, so so <laughs> I think the, the crit- term would be coxing, guys, but I'm not sh- saying that. <laughs> wait, guys. Shush, 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 shush. Sh- sh- okay, so we have one crit, right? One over thirty. So that's a plus two. And then two others that are plus one. So that's plus four to your check. Go ahead, Tuffy, roll away. Okay, I rolled a Not 15 one. plus a 13 plus yeah. four. <laughs> wow. 15 plus 13, so it's 28, plus four is 32. Yep. You made Math this. Finder. I was thinking the same thing. It's like, we need to put, start putting up like algebraic equations on the screen. <laughs> you guys make this look so you make it look so easy it just kind of gently comes in lands right on the landing pad perfect absolutely the most perfect 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 landing you guys all just completely that's smooth it. entry mm, yeah <laughs> so so because the way this worked i ended up so basically Uh-oh. you guys get i don't out. know if i want to click on the thing <laughs> That's in character, by the way. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not clicking on that. I got a redirect notice. I'm a little. I'm a little scared. Well, everything <laughs> redirects off. Links redirect onto the internet. So it's but that anyway. Galapagos with oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it's Are a beautiful you... mind happening. <laughs> you guys have landed. What do you want to do? Are we near the beach? You are near the beach. This whole, this is a, not a... Is it a nude beach? It is now. No. <laughs> it is what? right now. I parked Why did I not, I'm like, How did hey. I not know he was going to do that? <laughs> and I'm going to the water. I call for the valets for the sleigh. And yeah, we, we head on out, <laughs> out to Actually, the, the valets look at the sleigh kind of at a loss because they don't have the magic of Christmas to drive it around. So it's stuck so on the So it just pad. sits right there in the rotunda. It's just yeah. like right there. It's it's on a landing pad. There's like a, like a helipad, you know, type oh, okay. deal. Right. So it's sitting on there, but no one else is going to be able to use it. This is a distraction technique. Surely I will cause a ruckus and Santa will see me. Ergo, we don't have to search the whole fucking town. Santa's going to come over there and say, put that thing away. (laughs) You guys, meaning put me away. (laughs) (laughs) I run, hands over my head, buck ass naked towards the surf. (laughs) um, People look at you like, what the fuck? But Santa does not come. There's a few nods of appreciation. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> nice. there may there may be that there, character has seduction that guy's got a lot of hey bonuses. frank just because roll a d12 against me <laughs> seven. Oh, you lose hey I no naked people on the beach and cover up or i'm calling the cops who says that one of the patrons on the beach. There's a lot of them. You'll have to make a bigger perception check. Eight. You so have I march no... back to where my clothes are, you have grab no my idea blade, was. and march back and yell, who the fuck said that with intimidation? All right, all right. Now, <laughs> Nobody you answered. Say, Nobody you didn't answered. say grab your weapon, so no, I'm assuming I did not. you're grabbing something else. <laughs> yes. But I, I left it with my armor shit. <laughs> So <laughs> nobody, nobody answers you. You have no idea who. who I go back that. and get dressed again. Fuck these okay. people. I hate this place. Nonsense. <laughs> the cops are it's called. It's so That's an even warm and ruckus. lovely. What are the rest of you yahoos do? Um, I slowly put on my armor. I'm, I'm going go to go to the front desk. desk. Somebody is. You I'm know, going so to the front the girl desk. Looking you appreciatively. Yeah, I'm going to go to the front desk. Okay. And I go. Did the did the jolly fat red man uh, check out? T- Tubby, 
Tubby. We're looking for Tubby. <laughs> Sorry, Tubby. I'm looking for. I think he, I think he wrote it We're under Tubby. Fatty. Possibly <laughs> Fatty. Uh, what's his wife's name again? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm pretty sure that this is what she cheer. called her. Mrs. <laughs> Frank, you're not this there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, lady, where's the dessert buffet? We'll find him there. Uh, Tuffy's out by uh, the pool all, strolling for, uh, looking for new talent. <laughs> okay. First of all, first of all, you approach the thing and there is a young man there brown hair if i recall correctly he's got a little badge that says iggy on it iggy iggy <laughs> iggy 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 if people watch the special they'll know who iggy is <coughs> um and he's like well, he'll be like can i help you yeah no where's, where's the fat red man who's the fat red man oh wait fat red man yeah there's, there's nobody that i haven't seen he's any a fat red- guy big white beard always wears a red robe Oh, yo, red suit. Shoes, right? I thought I thought you were gonna say I thought red man. I thought you were talking like a tiefling or something. Oh, he doesn't have red skin. <laughs> he could be. Oh, you guys must be from the North Pole. I called you. Or I called Mrs. Claus. The outfits didn't give it away. Claus. That's true. Mine didn't. <laughs> All right, but you guys aren't. Elves, I forget. Don't the you dare to assume <laughs> my uh, my race identity. <laughs> yep, Lord, right there. Race Do you not see Lord. these giant ears? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I even but speak with plants, and I take. Please I take, don't uh, say we all. Like, like, you are slam green. him up on the desk. But I slam green. him up on the desk. Like, I even talk with plants. <laughs> Well, that's that's true, but but elves are like way taller than you, and they have they don't they don't have green skin. I say kill them. Ears are pointy. They're not. Like I get green. my Moogie's face gets like really big eye. Like you did not just go come at me with like a short or height card. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being short. Actually, Iggy's not exactly super tall. Either. Um. <clears throat> All right. Oh, so. I gotta do something to him now. Nope, I gotta do something to him. Yep. Well, um, yep. Something's happened. Um, uh, what am I casting on him? <laughs> it does not oh, look no. convinced. Um, I'm gonna tase him with a shocky crest. <laughs> that could don't, really help. Don't you. tase him, bro. Don't tase him. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. You know what? No, no, no. The hell. Nope. Screw this. I'm gonna make it so the resort gets really like one star reviews only. Sticky Yo. cloud in the middle of the resort <laughs> entrance. I'm. <laughs> I'm yelping his ass right now. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. You're not there, Frank. You're still putting your clothes on and your armor. The staff it is around. rude. It take, uh, it's gonna take you like ten minutes to do that. He's doing the helicopter. <laughs> I'm waving him in. I can wave that. Up. Hypnotic cloud. pattern. So I gave you. I gave you sticky cloud, right? Yes, of course. Why do you think I picked it? Hang on. We you create up. a cloud of putrid mist in the area. The cloud functions as obscuring mist, except it sickens creatures that end their turn within the cloud. Isn't that putrid sewers? AKA what Kyle imbued, and that's probably why he's sick and dying. <laughs> All right, so you release a but stinking cloud. it smells cloud. such like a putrid sewer. <laughs> Adventure sense. <laughs> <laughs> What's your save? DC 21. All right, let me... Critical fail, critical fail. Oh, no, that was not a critical fail. I'll be walking in going, Jesus, frog man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said your save was 21? Yes. So he kind of... <clears throat> but he If he succeeds, really he's sick. still sicking for one round. Yeah, so you get... Okay, yeah, so you get kind of... He looks kind of green. Like, oh, that was gross. God, don't you want me to help you? He also can't see anything now because of scaring mist. I'm going around the back and just finding the records. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I take a brochure that has a map of the area. By the way, uh, by the way, Kyle uh, Frogmunch, you are in there, right? Yes. Make a save. Uh, does this count as a, a 
Oh, it's uh, it's poison. The... Oh wait, it is poison. So that I think ha- that might help you. Normally, so, so are we it's... in like the spa of the spa? No, you're the in the lo- you're in the lobby. Okay, right. I want everybody in the lobby to like freak out and cause a ruckus. I am an iron gut goblin, which means I get a plus two bonus to saving throws against afflictions in the sickened condition, mm-hmm. but only if I ingest anything. Uh, Frog Munch is a known mouth breather. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that counts, right? Two of the patrons, there, there, are, there are like five patrons there to critically succeed and it doesn't even fucking phase them. They're, They're like, kind of retching. Mm, kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is a twenty-one on the dot. Okay, so you're you're sick, sickened for one round, though, right? Hey, you just feel, you only throw up in your mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> then I pull out an empty flask. <laughs> how long? Let's see. How long does the obscuring? How long does the obscure duration? One minute. minute. Okay. So I'm gonna go around the at, around the back and just rummage through his papers. All right. Well, and find like the book. I'm trying to think of what check I should have you make. Sorry, give me a sec. I've got too many things open here. Uh, Uh, Wait, I know what I need to do. Oh, is it just, is it going to be a perception check? Is a perception, yeah, I don't, yeah, there's no investigation in this one, right? Yeah, Yeah, make a perception check. All right, 17 on the die, plus 13, 30. Okay, I am, ma- I am thirty master. That's, that's All right. What so what you find is you do find records of him being there, of checking in, but that's really all you see. We don't have anything of checking out. Nope. Do we have any of like his room service records? Mm, there is kind of a tab, but I mean, yeah, what sure. Was the last ordered, time he ordered anything. Uh, two like days. Uh, let's see. Tubby gets milk and cookies every day. I say we raid the uh, <laughs> kitchen and tell us we figure out the crumb trail and we find Santa. You so got a point. To, you got a point. All right. So so it would have been two days in pretty much the timeline you were told was the last time he was there for two days and then suddenly gone. So there was room service order two days in and then nothing. And Iggy's like, oh, gosh, you know, Take wanna... the records and walk away. <laughs> you can't. DM I, DM I sent you a message. All right. Why? Uh, oh, I see. What did you? I'm not going to look at it. Remember, it's, it looks, it's going to be something stupid. No, it, it, it's safe. I know, but it's, it's also. Safe. All right. It's it's Santa under an umbrella with a mojito on the yeah, beach. Yeah, but that is not what's going on here. So <laughs> he's also nude, but you no, know. he's he's not nude. <laughs> That's not a mojito. It was a good he's picture. Also... Okay, it is a good picture, but it's not what's happening here. So, <clears throat> although you do get a room number, you do actually get a room number on that, yep, and that would idea. be uh, let's see, room twenty four course do they happen to have a room 69 no <sighs> thank you i suppose they could <laughs> i mean i haven't really i didn't really to figure out how many rooms were in the end and he's like and he's like oh, come on get out just Get out. I'm already getting out. I'm just taking You're it. Already gone. <laughs> Actually, it said it's still obscures for like a, a. All right. So, what do you guys do? I run into a couple things and then I make my way out. All right. You make your way out. So, you leave I the. I grab inn. a brochure that has a map of the entire resort and I follow uh, uh, Moogie out as well. All right. Tuffy? Uh, yeah. Tuffy is finding his way out in that direction too. All right, and I will say, uh, Dita, you you will making, rejoin I'm, them at this point. I, I'm making eyes at the ladies. Ladies? Looking for the cops, just in case. <laughs> no, they don't seem to have been summoned. So what do you guys do when you go outside? Uh, I, I express to them, he was in room 24. 
Is there a zoo nearby? <laughs> Did you grab what? any of the brochures for a zoo? Let's see. Do I have a brochure for a zoo? Uh, I don't know. No. No. Uh, okay. I do have an blows. aquarium, though. Sure. This place blows. I say t- room 24, too. And I asked Moody, did they have a room 69 here? I'm like, <laughs> I, disappointing, like, no. <laughs> Stupid job. Mm-hmm. What do you do? We go to room go 24 to room and raid 24. the place. Yeah, so you go in. The, the By this point, it is the room started clear. Iggy sees you walk in. No, I told you to get out. Go find Santa yourself. I put a blade to his neck. Beat it, pal. Intimidation. Go to roll. 12 plus 10. 12 plus 10, 22. Oh, uh. So you're trying uh, to do what? Dita you... has is intimidating him. I'm looking for a room key for room um, 24. You don't find one. Hmm. I don't find one. Nope. Okay, I'm a rogue. I don't need. I one. I got the key. I was about to say. No, you got the key. I don't need one. <laughs> Look this up. I'm trying to figure out which thing you're going to do because this. Are you trying to coerce or demoralize? Demoralize. I think I get something for that too. All I know uh, is it's been an hour and fifteen minutes, and I haven't killed shit yet. We all right. Let's see. Fucking heat miser should have bit that shit. Heat miser and cold miser. Cold miser would have worked together and kicked your asses. Not if we would have killed one first. <laughs> Mm, not, not with not with the amount of hit points there, with the amount of damage you would throw with uh, four of those You spells. put them in the game. You didn't think we were going to try to challenge them. <laughs> oh, you could. I put. I I have stats. Uh, intimidating glare. You can use demoralize with no penalty when a creature doesn't understand your language. Yeah, that's that's more. That's also I think kind of a combat thing too. Okay, uh, 20, 22 on the intimidation to try right, to get so the fuck to, out of the way. Demoralize. Well. Demoralize just really gives um ba, 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 let's see temptimity. It just they become frightened of you. And I'm happy with that. Yeah. And he just basically tries to push you aside and run behind the thing. Fine. Gentlemen. Now the cops are coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's no, we don't fight a room key. Nope, there's no room. Think about how room keys work these days, guys. That's fine. Oops. We'll just blow it open. <laughs> I'm kicking that thing in. <laughs> well, all right. 24, does that mean second floor, room four? Or yeah, are we we're talking? starting to think that a little bit myself. <laughs> uh, admittedly, also, Carol, I thought we were in the past because, you know, Pathfinder, but, you know, apparently electronic. I put golf rare. in there and stuff. There's a telephone, so I went with four. Uh, Frog yeah. Munch pulls out his AR and <laughs> starts <laughs> You do No, see, you guys, like, you know, the North Pole has always sort of been a bit behind the times. If you really think about how it's always been portrayed. I'll have to uh, mail in my toys. <laughs> All right, well, so you go up? Yes. Okay. Yep. Because I know it's not going to really stop you anyway, so. All oh, right. Tubby. Tubby. <laughs> so, you're right. It is on the second floor. Okay. It's not room four, though. There is a 24. There is a 24. Yeah, okay. basically, basically, there's 20 rooms on each floor. Hmm. That's the way I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. You so, just happen to get lucky. Wait, how many floors? There's like three floors. Damn it. I look wait, around oh, for damn a it. Maid. We just 60. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look for a maid while these guys are checking on the door. The afternoon 
because you flew all night. It's like in the afternoon. Yeah, they already did the sheets sometime. They yeah. already did it. They do it in the morning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, I, I I say we go up to room 24, knock on the door, and say housekeeping. Housekeeping? You want a Yankee or a Winky? <laughs> we all just dress up as maids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we find the... That's it. We look for the, uh, the employee uniform. Uh, whatever. Linen shoot or whatever. <laughs> My skirt, extra our locker skirt. room, employees' locker rooms. Yeah, that's it. So, wait, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. What do you guys do? You go going to the door. Uh, okay, to the how, door. How, how, how are, are you open going the door? to get in the door? Yeah, no, that's what I'm asking. How are we? It, what is the lock like? Yeah, the lock is the lock <laughs> is pickable. And all right, well, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna utilize my leshy finally. All right, all right. I'm gonna have him do his group thing where he he's gonna slide his little tendrils underneath the door, then raise it up and unlock it and just open it. Make he has he has check. thievery. Go ahead, make a thievery check. Damn it, that's only a three plus five. That's a seven. That is not gonna just for backup. <laughs> Tuffy checks out the lock, so I think I got it. All right, Tuffy. Uh, I check out the lock. Uh, I look to see, okay, this is a Lockmaster 2000. Uh, uh, yeah, I start rummaging through. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to on this as well. I'm gonna what I'm doing is like, door open. no, no, no. You want lock pick number seven on number this one seven. You sure. Said. Okay. So I rolled it. And I do. I rolled eight. a 19 and my thievery is 13. So <laughs> plus, plus two. two. Well, that's like, I really found that. Kick that fucking door in. I swear. We've cut, we, by the way, we now have <clears throat> next year's fan art. It's going to be goblins in made outfits. That's it. Whether <laughs> that happened or not. So the, you... uh, please make mine a French made outfit. Yeah, so they I have to be French made outfits. got to be French made outfits. All right, so wait, what did you rule? What did you I you rolled roll? a 19. My thievery is oh, a plus Jesus. 13. Yeah. yeah, you don't have any issue with locking that door. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you unlock the door. Open. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, it was literally like, oh, just open. even closed? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't locked. Who knows? Um, you go in, and the room is empty. Okay. First thing I would have checked for to see if there was a sock on the door <laughs> before we <laughs> tried to gain room, entry. The there room is. It was incredibly crusty. <laughs> <laughs> the room is empty. Uh, okay. I produce a black light. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> you uh, do not produce a black light. There's not one in your inventory, sir. Uh, fairy fire. <laughs> not quite the same thing. Are you for, like, uh, no, actually, no. Light spell. Black light version. <laughs> no. The drow edition. I'm going to go to room 23 and knock. Okay, you knock. Any answer? By the way, by the way, I want actually everybody make an intelligence check to remember oh, something. Oh, that's uh, oh, that's oh. excellent. Oh, okay. Uh, 18 six, plus one. 16 plus one. So there's a reason why I'm saying this. I got right, it yeah, set. guys, you guys remember there is a second part to this mission, which requires yeah. you to find people who believe in Christmas. Nah. Okay. I'm saying that now see, because he's, see, going, the he's going to another door. So okay, here's the problem. Talk to people. This is why you don't have you don't set multiple tasks at once because once you start multitasking, everything just goes downhill. <laughs> it's all good. We it's gotta all kill fun. the misers. We got to find someone who believes in Santa. Find the fat man. Right, right. You know, in if we would have killed the misers, we could have been deities ourselves and then made everybody worship Christmas. That's <clears> true. <throat> Anybody in room 23? Uh, go ahead and knock. I did. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, someone will come up and look the little people. Who's there? Somebody looking for the Christmas spirit. Have you seen a tubby pale guy? Opens the door. Is this Wait, a tubby looking... pale guy? <laughs> no. Well, no, this is not the tubby pale guy. This is, this is just a guy. 
who looks dumb. Who is also tubby and pale. If you look in there, he actually <laughs> there's actually a couple of kids in there with them. And his uh, wife. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can I you're asking about next door? Yeah, if we don't find Tubby, Christmas is canceled this year, and those <gasps> little brats behind you are going to be upset. So I need you to help me find him. Oh. I have no diplomacy skills whatsoever. No, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> well, no, you could still make a check. You could still always make a check. Uh, you can. Not right, twenty. <laughs> so, all right, so here's how. Here's how the Part B thing is basically. You're going to, so you'll make it. You can ask him what their persuasion on Christmas is. And then, Your persuasion. What do you, do you believe in Christmas? With that check, feel how. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll Are we going door to door and asking their religion? No. <laughs> Have you heard a... the good word? Christmas is canceled. Your kids are going to be bitches. Uh, okay, I will ask them. Do you believe in Santa Claus? You're all the 20. Ah. Uh, Nat 20. <laughs> and he looks at the kids for a minute and he goes, yeah, actually, I do. Well, if we don't find the tubby white guy, it's canceled. <laughs> no, wait, sh- 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 I want them to hear this. But well, something... then you need to answer. <laughs> no! Stop talking. Let me answer. So he comes hey, down. Hey, this guy's causing me grief. <laughs> he, comes down, he comes down to your level. He'll say very quietly, something very strange happened like a couple nights ago uh i just i heard i did, i only really heard things i didn't see anything by the time i got to the door it was it was it was nothing i'll have him step out tell his kids don't worry i'm probably not going to eat your dad he'll be back in a second and okay. then shut the door Those so are... we can talk normally so we can all, all hear this all right so <clears throat> well, yeah I... I heard like all of a sudden i heard like the door somebody get into that room like i heard a knock on the door and santa answer answer that's why i believe in santa i saw him how can you not believe when you see him and i heard what i thought might be a struggle i heard you know things getting pushed you know i don't know you know what a struggle sounds like right <laughs> and he's a big yeah, guy intimately. <laughs> he's a big guy and when i looked out when I looked in the hall, you know, I, I went over and I looked in the hall, so it was quiet and there was nothing. But it nothing didn't see there. on the door when you went to check it out. No. Okay. No sock on the door. So, um, did you look through your peephole like you did for us well i did but i mean by that point the struggle was already in there okay uh did you see somebody in the hallway before you you heard a struggle or i didn't look there was no reason to look i was busy with my kids and wife okay um yeah i haven't got a clue guys so there's been a struggle we know that (laughs) So and and now Santa is missing. Okay, so uh, I know we're probably the creepiest looking things around here. So yeah, you guys are kind of strange. Yeah. I'm, got, I'm going to loudly announce: you mean Santa's dead? That's what you're saying. Essentially, the guy is dead. Oh no, he <laughs> no, he disappeared. Well, we Please got his stop. room open. What Zoom was the dead. what was the condition of Santa's room? It's been picked up. It's been oh. mostly picked up. However, if you guys want to go in there, make a perception check. Yeah. Does it look like it was picked up by the cleaning staff? Yeah, was, by the uh, by the cleaning staff. I rolled I take that the, one. I'm going to take the mints off the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> there probably are mints on the pillow. Anybody else making a, a perception check? Is it now? I went for the shampoo cook. bottles. Uh. You did. <laughs> I'm busy painting uh, 69 after having removed 24. <laughs> the door. I'm looking out 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 in the hallway. Is there a housekeeping cart? No, no, they're, they're done. And they're done for the day. Yeah, done for okay. The day. Okay. Well, shit. Well, yeah, I can't check the housekeeping cart for clues. So feel free right. to say you can make a perception check in the room. Search the room. Okay. Well, search uh, the room. After I eat the mints. 
What'd you make? 15. 15? Okay. Uh, 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 let's see. Perception? Uh -uh. I don't see. Oh, wait. Oh, perception. I'm sorry, guys. Perception, perception is, is nine. Is, perception is not on, with the skills. Sorry. Perception yeah. is on its own separate little, I don't oh. know where it is. Oh, oh, okay. 22, it's, it. it's up underneath your. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not a skill per se. Yeah, got 22. it. Because you also use it me. for your initiative, too. Pathfinder, folks. Uh, let's see. Okay. So uh, my perception is a plus 10, but I. I only rolled a two, so a 12. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, what'd you 22. Roll? You, and, you, and did anybody else roll 22 or higher? Okay, oh, God, Dita. Unbelievable, Dita, out of all people. Well, I whatever I spotted, I spotted because I wadded up the uh, mint foil and then threw it in that direction. Oh, hey, look, there's our answer. <laughs> you find, like, kind of tucked sort of hidden under the bed you know sir you Playboy. know sometimes when they clean rooms they don't always get everything you see a matchbook cover we're burning oh, this man. place down boys <laughs> no no this is this is turning into some dark stuff <laughs> yeah i was about to say hopefully it's nothing shaped like a flashlight all right <laughs> so when i assume you go pick it up Does and it you see YMCA? on it you see on it the palace dungeon magic show Oh man, it is the YMCA, but with a oh darker twist. God. The Palace Dungeon Magic Show. Yep. Da, 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 da. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, this sounds like like uh, Tuffy's yeah kind of place. All right, a dungeon. Huh? <laughs> Thinking this is uh, Police Academy Blue Oyster is what this. That's is what it be. is. <laughs> All right. What else? To the sleigh. To the sleigh. <laughs> Actually, you don't need to take the sleigh. It's, Do we see this thing? I guess you could leave, if you wanted. You could if you wanted. I will uh, uh, give a little extra Christmas cheer to the kids and 23, and mm -hmm. I pull out from my satchel what looks like an ornament, a glitter ornament that you can shake <laughs> up. Oh. At the top of the ornament is this liquid and what looks like a nail. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, front, uh. front, front, front lunch. We've been making toys for kids for it, years. It's Dolly's you body know, glitter, isn't it? <laughs> you, you know, I mean, if it's unless it's not a bomb, an actual bomb, and it is a toy, you already know what's appropriate to give kids at this point. I'm You've been working. Sure it's a bomb. For the kids. has neglected to tell the other goblins that we're actually on the naughty list this year. <laughs> There's no fixing it. Frog Bunch is here to kill Santa Claus <laughs> and take over his place. No, stop. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, is it a glitter bomb made out of Dolly's body glitter? <laughs> it really should be. Used and body glitter. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys. All right, so yep. let's, I assume, what do you guys do on the way out? Anything? I just I said what I did. I'll ask anybody like... around whether they know where this uh, dungeon place is. Oh, yeah, yeah, is there is, is there a concierge? Well, Iggy, my, Iggy was the a concierge. I'm sure you have a map. You now. We have a map. Yeah, and brochures as well. Yeah. Do you, you see Iggy there? He, Iggy, Iggy, there. Iggy, Iggy my man. How's it going? Sorry about yeah, that. Earlier. Why are you here? Well, well, well. I told you to hold get on, the hell hold out. On, hold on, hold on. It's just like, <laughs> have you heard of this place? <laughs> Why? I'm I gonna like help you. You were a bunch of nasty gift cards. I can't believe Santa would employ you. You're a bunch of nasty little. Ugh. Why would I? I help throw you? it on a curtain. <laughs> Why would I help you? Because your place is on fire. He just like basically goes and grabs a fire extreme, puts it up. Why would I help you? Oh, he goes and takes it. He goes and grabs it. Stop. Well, do you, do you believe in Christmas? Make a diplomacy check. Diplomacy. Okay. Yep. Let me oh. see if you can fix this. I think there's going to be some penalties to this. Seventeen plus eight. Okay, so twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Anybody want aid? Try to aid. I tried. 
No, no, you're going to be, no, you're actually giving him penalties for this. Oh, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would do so, but nope. I'm going to do it in that normal concierge way of where you slip them some money. Uh, okay. I try aiding <laughs> using society. Go ahead. Oh, my good man. Yeah. Also, I will give you a bonus to this. Yes. <laughs> give him a no! platinum piece. That's a net one. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say this because I really like the idea. They're here. You all, I should have said the video. You all have one hero point, so you can either re-roll a roll or save your ass if you die. I will oh, re-roll this right. roll. Yeah. Nobody's had anything that's been really bad to even bring it up. So I have three uh, Booster Gold points. comes for me once more. Did you roll a 20? That's a natural 20. Oh, uh, man. Plus that's... 11 for society. Oh, the, good old, that is, good old that is a gold, critical. Huh? Regardless, that's a nat 20. That's a critical success. So that's plus two. What'd you roll, Moogie? Oh, uh, I rolled like what? A six plus, uh, what is it? Plus nine. So 15. You, okay, so you rolled over 10. You didn't make the 20, but that's okay. You didn't, I'm going to say you're not going to cost him anything. So 25, that'll make it. Hey, for I went to to get my uh, matches back. So you asked, so you asked what? Uh, Iggy, do you believe in Christmas? Do you believe in magic? Because I hope I, you do. <laughs> Here's a gold <laughs> coin from behind your you ear. You know, <laughs> I. I actually do believe in Christmas. We I remember when I was a child, this whole topic came up before. We just needed the answer. We didn't need the story. <laughs> Screw you. Just let me kill him. <laughs> what was the one thing that you wanted for Christmas one and year and you did not get it? A happy Oscar ending. Meyer oh, I don't whistle. friggin'. All right, so Carol doesn't friggin' remember this. I a remember, pony. I remember though they wanted <laughs> snow. Uh well. We got the snow. We asked Santa to bring us. If Santa was real, we get snow, and we get snow here. Now here in South Town. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey tell him this if, was if magic. Can, if he can find the Santa, Christmas Eve. the four of us will make it snow. All right, all right. So mm -hmm. here's where that place is, and he'll give you a the detailed. Just go. Just go. You know, north about a mile. Uh, and yeah, are, take the sleigh. Are there bikes? <laughs> no, no, you can take the sleigh. They're, they're the little bike rickshaws, you know? If you really <laughs> want to go a, that way, like you can. Bike rickshaw. <clears throat> We're still wearing our French made outfits riding on this bike rickshaw. You guys <laughs> are, are you beach. actually wearing French made outfits right now? We are now. I think, <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, Frog Munch changed because he feels more comfortable in it. <laughs> All There's right. more room for my satchel. All right, guys, you go. You just pull, bo you just pull right, balls out underneath guys, the skirt. Guys, 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 I do want to get through this. And we're almost to the end. So you get to, you, you follow his directions, and you land. I'm not going to make you make a check to land. But you land in the parking lot. Uh, whoops, I went too far. <laughs> there we go. So he knows it really well. It gives you a map um, and good directions. Oh, uh, Iggy knows the dungeon. Oh, really you know what? Well. For funsies, I am going to make you. Nah, actually, you're taking the sleigh. You said take the sleigh. No, I'm not going to mm -hmm. do that. If you walk there, because it was within walking distance. A uh, mile? I was, I was, <laughs> no, I was going to make it. I was going to make it shorter. When you were I, a younger I, man. I, I, I had to actually read the I had to actually get to the <laughs> section and read it. Now, what it was is basically there's all these trinket shops and everything along the way. And I was going to make you roll to see if you were distracted. And for every fail, every five you failed by, you were going to spend like 10 gold. On oh, man. Uh, it's like it's like Vineland Drive in Orlando yep. with all the T-shirt shops. But you guys <laughs> said you wanted to take the sleigh. So you skip over. You will see that as you fly over it. But uh, you skip over all that. You will see. the ink pen. <laughs> you can get one after this okay. uh all right so the the you come from this it's a castle it is a castle it's a large white blue and gold trim castle bonus points if you know what i'm talking about uh let's see so because you took the sleigh and you didn't lollygag there's no show going on right now 
there's well now I'm upset. Okay, when you Shows described it, I was just like, oh my god, there's sliders. I thought we were talking about yeah, White Castle. Same here. <laughs> no, but I guess, like, no, well, no, I guess Santa's with not for little cookies beef to... sandwiches. <laughs> They're all Santa. <laughs> Is the floor <laughs> sticky in here? Uh, I think no. It's so. no, it's not that kind. It literally is <laughs> magic. It literally is for magic. Okay, magic this, this is this is a way better Kyle version right here. Okay, so so basically, this is what magic quest that that we're at. <laughs> There's a I'm place like, like in, in Pigeon Forge. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I've been to Pigeon Forge too. Long Next time, time we now. need to find the fat man. But it probably just, is just probably is my, like that. I'm thinking device. like you know, Magic Castle and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it's like. Okay, you know, all it's, right. It's because it's a resort town, you know, so they have an actual castle-looking thing, okay. building, and it is it is for magic. It is not that kind of dungeon. Is it? Uh, He's on is, the surface. Is David Silverfield working today? Oh, Copperfield. <laughs> David, David Silverfield, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's, let's I don't even know. I haven't it. even heard his name in years. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Walk in. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a drink. Right now, the um, the building is locked. Okay. Uh, on the, Unacceptable. On the science outside, does it say when the next show is? Uh, yeah, the next show is at like 8 o'clock at night. Oh, you guys, okay. it's oh. about it's about three o'clock oh. in the afternoon okay all right so yeah that's too long to wait so uh yeah we're uh tuffy's gonna check out the lock <laughs> go right place why don't we just go in from the top yeah we gotta yeah. slay let's yeah, fly up and go hey let's do because the die hard this, <laughs> i mean there's no real there's no real access point up there <laughs> okay, it's not a real castle. Then, so nah, uh, it's it's not. I mean, okay, so the castle I was thinking was was Cinderella's castle in Disney World. Yeah. You think oh, about it. How would you yeah. get in there? Yeah, there's the, no uh, the tower. To the tower yeah. window. The, there's the, windows. The, the, they're all that. There isn't like the tower's not like real, and I don't think you'd fit in there anyways. It's actually a little small, tiny tower. Excuse me, we we're are small and tiny goblets. We're not. <laughs> That's true. But you made it a point to make fun of our height. I was That's not good. making fun. I just color. said you were short. I didn't say you made fun of it. All well, right. Go okay. to make a check on the lock. All right. This would yeah, be the so easy I, way. I, I check on the lock. So is that a thievery? Yes. Check. Okay. Yeah, make a thievery check. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, 18. I will. Not quite. Also, uh, uh, do a thievery check. Go ahead. You can do one to aid. I'll, I'll let you do one to aid. Also, remember, you all do have, other than Kyle, you do have a reroll. Uh, 10. Uh, so, uh, uh, 20. I do aid. Okay, you do aid, so you do make it. Okay. The DC 20. It's, it's not super hard to pick. Okay. Um, you all pick right. the lock, go in. Yes. And it's quiet. <clears throat> okay. It's, it's quiet in there. Uh, is there a union light on the stage or something? <laughs> so. Yeah, there'll be. I mean, there's there's emergency light. You know, there's, there's lighting that is pretty much on all the okay. time. Okay. I mean, if it's like any it's stage, not... there's always a single light on yeah, the stage it, open. It's yeah. also it's day, and yeah, there are windows. You know, and so there is light in there. It's not oh, okay. Okay, it's not like a theater. Yeah. You know. I mean, I mean, you go in, there is a theater where the thing is, but there's also a lot, there's also hallways to get there. Um, hallways that go out to the back. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to Scooby-Doo the shit out of this. At go see Spider-Man. Uh, no, we own folks. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> nice, bad. Yeah. This pitch. So, so yeah, we're going to stealth in and kind of kind of look around. Okay. Uh, go. You all want to stealth? Sure. Whether, sure. whether you're good at it or not, you can sure. all make stealth. Go ahead, make I stealth will checks. use the, the, the feet quiet allies. I was going to say, we're all goblins. We should be all good at stealthing. That right. funny. Quiet allies gives you what? Uh, you are skilled at moving with a group. You are uh, avoiding notice. 
and your allies follow the, the expert. So that would be me. Uh, you and those allies can roll a single stealth check oh. using the lowest modifier. All right. And, and you know what? That might be Frank. What's your, what's your stealth modifier, Frank? Uh, I almost wrote Tubby. I, I rolled a nat 20 FYI. Yeah, no, what's your, what's your, what's your modifier? I think this is going to work anyways. Uh, plus three. Plus three? I'll bet you yours is the lowest. Uh, uh, for it lunch? Tied. <laughs> All right. What's yours, uh, Moogie? Oh, 10. Yeah, see. All right. So, Frank, uh, or, sorry, Dita and Frog Munch would have tied. I'm going to go with it. You guys are super, super quiet as you sneak in. Where do you want to go? Um, downstairs. Okay. So, you look around and you don't find a downstairs. But here's what you would, you'll find. Obviously, there are like restrooms and there's the stage and there are offices. Would Guild Lore, yeah, this theater guild, uh, uh, allow me to kind of pinpoint where we want to go a little bit faster? Sure. So like an office, the management office, something like that. Go ahead. You got yeah. this. Uh, that is going to be a 20. You got this. Yeah, you got this. You suspect that maybe the place to go is the manager's office. Okay. And you Usually find buildings like this, they put them over here. Yeah, so you find it. Um, so you find the or the owner's office. It is, you go in, it's actually the door's unlocked, it's not trapped. It is an absolute mess, littered with magical implements that aren't magical. If you've anyone wanted to do a detect magic trick. Uh, on the desk is a nameplate that says, and this is going to refer to a different special, Professor H. Hinkle. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and make perception checks when you're in the room. <coughs> All right. That's pretty we'll make good. one round. I did it. Uh, 27. 32. Uh, 23. <laughs> oh, actually, did I get that right? 23. I, I think I'm wrong. You wrote, what'd you roll, Mookie? Uh, 20. You yeah, all 30, made this. 30, 31. Okay, be because he rolled so well. I'm going to just, I'm going to bypass. I was going to have to do two checks, but I'm going to bypass. It. So <laughs> all of you can actually very faintly hear someone calling for help. <laughs> you know, <laughs> There's nothing here. I say we church. go Let's check. Get out of here, yeah. yeah, yeah. Burn Santa's the place. Let's Moogie, on the other hand, with his little leshy buddy. Uh basically they're looking around and towards the direction of that sound. And they see this bookcase. They kind of look at it carefully. And they realize there's kind of a crack between it and the wall. Are there any matches in this room? No. But I have this alchemical firebomb. <laughs> you open it, and it's a secret door with stairs that go down. It's okay. the portal to hell. <laughs> I'm going to go down the stairs. All right, you're going to lead? Sure. Why not? You're going to yeah. march order? Okay. Yeah. I mean, we don't need lights. We have dark vision. So I have lights. I, in fact, I cast light. Okay. Well, there goes our light. dark vision. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so you go down the stairs. It's a black light. <laughs> you guys go down Probe. the stairs and you get to the end. It's a fill, it's a narrow hallway. You can only go one person at a time. So Moogie's first. Who's next? I'll bring up the rear because I'm the fighter. That okay. way we don't get jacked. Um, okay. Uh, Who wants to be next? Uh Tuffy will be next. Okay, Tuffy. So it's Moogie, Tuffy, uh, the frog. Froggy and Dita. All right, so you go down there. And I'll say it will open up to 10 feet, so you can at least get next to each other. So hopefully I'm, we can. I'm, I'm going to damage the secret door so we can't get locked in here before I go down the stairs. All right, make a. I'm trying to think what check that would be. Cra make, make a crafting check. 11 plus 8, 19. I'll put gum in the latch. <laughs> okay, because you're going to do something that simple. That's that. That will be enough. Can I check his work to make sure that it's good? Sure, you you can go ahead and check. 
So you're jamming the lock with uh, gum? With gum. Yeah, it's I don't know really where you had Just it, to it, make sure it's a it's, good, it's, good, solid piece okay, of gum. Okay, so you go and you fix it a little bit, but it was sufficient. It okay. was actually sufficient before. It's earwax, not I, gum. <laughs> I, I, I went with the fact that he was taking such a simple solution that I made it an easy DC, which basically is you subtract two. Right now, the, the standard DC for your level is 20. So, and you can adjust it from there depending on how difficult you think the thing is. All right, so you go downstairs in the hallways. Now, the hallway downstairs is 10 feet wide and you find it really is a dungeon. There are three barred cells in there. And the cries are coming from the one at the very end, and they're all on the left. The Carl, you see something. Swing. In the first cell. You see something else there, though, too. Well, Is it a bunch of meddling kids? No, it's not a bunch a of dog? meddling kids. No, you see a large snowman statue. And... Son of a bitch, he's back like, for his parts. Like the song says, I have now gone into a different cartoon here. Like the song says, he came to life one day. Go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, night time! It's night time. Oh, I know, I know how we get out of this. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> All right, and, use your, and by the way, use your perceptions as your initiative modifiers. Okay. Uh, you rolled really well, by the way. Ugh. Just as an FYI. 33. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I got to do math, and this is like, I got to actually do math. Oh, no, 32. My bad. 32? Uh, you know, because actually, no, I know what the rules are. So that's 32. And you're, so Boogie's 32? Mm hmm. So, um, uh... Okay. Uh, what feet? is your initiative on, on the sheets? It is perception. It is perception. Yeah, you go. Oh, yeah. oh, actually, Moogie, I'll give you the option. Since you guys are being stealthy and everybody has a higher stealth, you can use you can use stealth for your for your initiative. And I think it's important for you uh, being a rogue. Yeah, my um my perception. You guys can use use perception, but Moogie, if so, but Tuffy might want to use stealth. stealth? Okay. That yeah. is great. Okay. So what is your initiative? Uh, uh, 23. 23. Wow, 23. Mm -hmm. Okay. I rolled a 10 plus a 13 for stealth as my initiative. Frog Munch? Initiative. Uh, 25. And Dita? 15 or 17 if I'm using stealth, but I don't think I am. So 15. Well, you all were using stealth. You can. It doesn't really matter. You're still in the I'm, same I'm location. Last, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, you're last. And unfortunately, guess who's first? Uh, your mama? The statue. I rolled really well on this. So oh, we, had, we had Moogie and Tuffy right in the front. So they're in the front. And you two are behind them. I'm just going to do this so I have a reference. All right. It's a, it's a 10 foot wide thing. All right. So he is going to come up and he's going to start wailing on people. So one action to move. Let's see. Where is his attacks here? It's up. Right, so he's 30 feet. Yep. Within 30 feet. He's going to move right up to. Let's see. Oh, do I, ooh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? <laughs> no, he's not going to move. This is, this is mean. He actually, okay, so these kind of statues actually have his belly suddenly like ignites. He's actually got a brazier of hot coals in him, which is really weird because it's a snowman statue. Oh, there goes my plan. So let me see what he does here, because I said I took this right out of the thing. You know, oh wait, no, we're not going to do that because <laughs> he's busy. He is going to take an action initially to throw a hot coal at somebody, and that is a terrible roll. He's probably going to miss. I'm going to roll and see which person, because he doesn't really care who. All right, Moogie. <laughs> However, this roll is really suck. One action to throw it. So that is only a 16. I'm pretty sure a 16 does not hit you. 
that'll miss. Okay, so he frustrated yell, and then he's going to walk up, and then he's going to try to punch somebody with his stone fist. Oh, my God, I rolled a five. Uh, let's see. Who's he going to try to hit? Oh, he's going to try to hit you again. Apparently, my dice are going to just roll low. Uh, but that's still only, that's less than before. That's a second hit, so that's a four. Plus five is nineteen. Does that fit? No. Yeah, I don't think so. That's his actions. That's all three actions. All right. So, Boogie, you can strike back. Uh, <laughs> Boogie strikes back. You also. I will can... just. I'll use the power of Christmas magic, and uh, uh, I'm gonna just try to center it right into his pot of coals. Okay. I All right. Him the cold coal. I believe I have to make a reflex save. Somebody's getting coal when they're stocking this year. <laughs> Actually, this is a great plan. Uh, let's see. I said DC 20 reflex. It does make it, but it's a bit. Basically, he does half damage. So roll 66. Yep, I'm doing that right now. Although, I'm going to make a roll for Santa. 27. Makes it. 27 points of damage. So he's going to take half. Let me let me look because there's actually something that you roll 27. Yep. 13 and a half. <laughs> Not half. quite. So the flame. Also, let me put his hit points up. Let me start doing this. Where's his hit points? Okay. So you do 27 points of damage. He made his save. So you're going to, he takes half of that. So unfortunately, it's not quite enough to put the brazier out, but you think it was really close. So that was... Uh, also, he doesn't seem to quite take as much damage as you thought you dealt to him. Uh, I will attempt to then... You uh, can't... To the cat... Smack to the, his coals out. What's that? Smack his coals out. Yeah, I'm gonna hit. His, I'm gonna hit him in the coal job leads. All right, uh, hang on. Let me do. Let me figure out this. Oh my god, I can't even do friggin' basic math here. That's gonna miss. I rolled a two on the die. Yeah, that's gonna miss. Okay, you did do a pretty good shot on him, though. You think? That's not right. <laughs> I don't know how to do math. All right, is that all three of your actions? Yes. Okay. Uh, next up would be oh my god, carry it. Frog, Frog Munch. You are not in the front row. I am not. Uh, could I make some sort of uh intelligence check to see what gets around whatever uh, okay. uh damage resistance it has? So, one of your actions is going to be recall to recall knowledge about constructs. Uh, uh -huh. do you have either here? Do you have arcana or crafting? Oh gosh. Which one to choose from? Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> crafting. Um, all right. And that is going to be a uh, 33. Holy Jesus. 19 on the die. Yeah. So you make it by 10, which I believe I get you two facts uh, that I get to determine. Oh, come uh, on. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm going to give you the useful stuff. Um, what you know about this is that. Right yeah, now, shut off switch to phrase. Right now, if you do enough damage, you will put the put the the brazier out. You will. You just know he didn't quite do enough. It needs to be a little more. Uh, and the other thing you know is this thing has something called construct armor. Okay. Basically, it gives him a hardness of ten, which means basically it will wipe out ten of pretty much any of your damage. Okay. But once you hit, get to, I believe it's half. Hardness 10. Giant status hardness, hardness reduces any damage takes by amount equal to with the hardness. Once a giant anime statue is reduced to less than half its hit points, it goes away and then you have a much easier time dealing with it. Okay. Um, with the brazier, Fire is probably not a good idea then, right? No, but cold or you can douse it. Where is it? You can douse it with water, right? 
but dosing it with at least two gallons of water. Two I don't know if you have two gallons, gallons of, water. of water. No, I don't. Um, I don't know if Mugi has create water. There you <laughs> you go. might yeah. have it. I don't think I, I am. did that though. Well, you hit them with cold, all that shit melted. Oh yeah, the cold. Yeah, cold you know does work. You know, cold works, and you know I've got that two he was more close. actions. I will flip over, lift up the French maid skirt, and let fly a cone of wintry air. All right, go ahead and roll your damage, and I'm going to make a save. I'm going to friggin' make the damn save. It is a save, but it is not critical, so it it will it will hurt him. Oh, come on. Uh, thanks to Murder Hobo Dice for all the ones. Oh, jeez. And the twos. Probably not going to make it. That doesn't happen to any of you. Uh, ours. <laughs> uh, 20 there? cold damage. Yeah, that, won't, that obviously won't, that won't do because he did make a save. He didn't make a save at work. All right, so he's going to take that much. Okay. Frog Munch just yells, put out the fire, put out the fire, put out the fire! You do get the idea that's really bad if he gets to do whatever he needs to do with that fire, by the way. And it just, it didn't go out nearly as well as before, and it just, it kind of stays strong. All right, so is that your three actions, or have you still got one more? That was my, uh, one action to learn about it, and then two to uh, yeah, call, call. The snow. Oh yeah, that's right, it's two actions. All right, so uh tuffy uh tuffy is going to is he wearing a hat yeah uh, he's wearing the hat but it's he, all it's a statue though so it's all built in it's all built oh uh, i suppose it could but, i didn't think of that you know what no it could be it could be no it's not that hat okay that hat is with it's that's hat with the owner the actual owner. Frog Munch. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, we, do, we have another Christmas special involved here, so. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Uh, Tuffy is going to, uh, you get three actions, right? Yes. Okay. His first action, he's going to use his feet tumble behind. Okay. He's gonna tumble behind the, he's going to make a tumble uh, yeah. to get behind him. Uh, and put him flat footed. All right, go ahead, do that. Uh, make your acrobatics check. Okay. Let's see something here. Uh, 19 plus 13. So 32. If you knock him on your his ass, I'm taking all three of my attacks to chop that fucker's head off. <laughs> all right, hang on. Uh so tumble through, you stride up to your speed. During this movement, you can try to move through a, the space of one enemy. Attack an acrobatics check against the enemy's reflex DC. You rolled a 20. What'd you roll? 32. Oh, 32. Now, okay, there's no critical success. So that is a success. You tumble through and you okay. end up behind them, and there's one action. Okay. Uh, does Does... How does it work for rogues? They always get sneak attack in Pathfinder, <clears throat> don't they? Uh, That's one of their... Yeah, you get things. it. You do get it. Yes, you get it. If, <clears throat> and also, if you crit, you double it, too. Um, rogues are rogues, are rogues, man, in this. Okay. So with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do a, a sneak attack. I will look it up while you're doing it, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, okay. Go ahead and do it though. Roll your roll to hit. Okay. So I I take out my pimp cane pimp. and pull out the rapier. <laughs> and uh yeah, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a a, a, a swipe. Uh, I'm gonna take advantage and take a swipe uh, with him and go for a pierce. So uh, let's see. And yes, that will count on all attacks. Okay. Usually it always did. All right, so with the rapier, so tumble through, sneak attack, and this is the 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 <clears throat> attack. Is the attack separate or no? Okay, I got it. Make it make a strike. Okay. To attack. All right. 
And with that, uh, let's see. So I can <laughs> rape here plus 14. Uh, okay. Does an 18 hit? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Remember you said I will recall three of you still have rerolls. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a hero point. Okay. All right. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 15 plus 14 to hit. So 29, that will yeah. hit. Okay. 29 hits. Okay. okay make your. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use murder hobo dice. <laughs> Didn't work so well for, for fragments. Okay. So 2d6 plus 4 piercing. Okay. Plus your sneak attack. Uh, okay. Which I believe is another 2d6. Okay. All right. Yeah. Roll all the d6s. Yep. So it's like 4d6 plus 4. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. For the sneak attack, uh, that's 10. All right, you said you can combine all the, all right there. Okay, so that gets wiped out. What's the rest of your damage? Uh, okay, and then uh, the rest of the damage is, let's see, uh, let's see. Uh, seven more points of piercing damage. Okay. See, I don't think it's a mute to anything like that. Nope, 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 nope. So seven points, you said? Mm-hmm. Actually, it's not immune to that, is it? Nope, let's see. <clears throat> it is a, it's immune to a lot of things. Okay, because it's a construct, guys. I mean, of course it is. All right, so you do seven points. All right, do you have any other actions? I think, uh, I think that was only two. So no, that was one. only two. So uh, does this thing have any pockets? No. <laughs> it's a I was statue. gonna pick his pocket. <laughs> it's a statue. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you can attack again at a minus uh, five. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attack again. Yep. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, uh, let's see. And that would be the second modifier for, for a rapier attack. That <laughs> Correct, way. yeah. Uh, okay. Or All just right. minus five. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, 20 to hit. That's a miss. That's I a mean, miss. The, okay. the, the sword just kind of clanks off this really hard stone at that really tough armor. Okay. But good, right. you still get through the first one because you roll really high. So, Dita, so, it's your so, turn. Since Tuffy moved up, am I yep. able to move up and attack or do I have to use a feat? Nope, you can move up and attack because now there's an empty spot. I am going to beat the living shit out of this thing. So, one of your actions is to move that five feet up okay. to his, to get in his grill. Go so for then, it. So, then I... You get two, you can do two attacks. Do I start at the plus 16 and plus 11 or do I drop down to the plus 11? And no, plus no, 11? no, those are every attack. So your first attack is still at your highest modifier. Right. It's not by action. It's, it's, it's by how many attacks you do, uh, if that makes sense. Yeah, seven plus 16, so 23. Uh, no, that misses. <laughs> that was not a great roll. Uh, <coughs> and 11 plus... 11, 22. That misses. So much for yep. beating the shit out of him. He is really tough because he's got that armor. Yeah. But still, good shot. Good good shot. Um, all right. So back to the top of the order. Uh, well, let's see. I, I do have one question. Yeah. Uh, one of Tuffy's feats is, is that he is a vandal. I mean, can he try to break the armor? Like look for straps uh, to cut off or, or anything? It's not, it's not, it's built in. Oh, it's built in. Okay. Yeah, it's basically built in. And basically right. what, what you're doing is you're trying to put a big crack in it. Okay. So that the magic starts failing. Okay. All right. That's the way I'm going to look at it. I'd spray paint them. 
<laughs> that's, that's next. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So top of the order, what is he going to do? He's got three targets right in reach. And oh, geez, it is still the fire is still going. No one put it out. So I'm going to randomly, put, let's see, who actually did damage to him? Uh, Not I. Tuffy. Tuffy okay. definitely did damage. Tuffy Moogie did. did. <laughs> Moogie did some damage. I'm going to roll, you know, I'm going to roll, and no, I'm going to leave you out of it, uh, Dita, because you didn't do any damage. Moogie and Tuffy, I believe, did damage. Moogie, I don't know why he doesn't like you, but he doesn't like you. <laughs> So I'm going to do, uh, it's going to be a stone. He's just going to use a stone fist. He's going to fist you, Moogie. I know. <laughs> Does a 29 hit you? I think you're muted. I don't hear you. Yes, most certainly. All right. Is it critical? It's not a crit, right? Uh, it's not 10 over. All right. So. I do need to look something up real quick because death save. Because <laughs> not yet. I look up grab because he's going to try to grab you. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is roll damage. This is going to hurt. You know this is going to hurt. Oh, this isn't going to hurt that much or as much as I thought it was going to hurt because I rolled shitty. Uh, so that's 11 points of bludgeoning damage plus grab. All right, so with a strike, let's grab and damage after you as creature grabbed using this action effect. The monster automatically, oh, automatically grabs you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Bye, he's, Moogie. you're grabbed in your hand. And then he's going to take you and he is going to shove you into the brazier and grind you in there. Wow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> These are goblins. They don't like fire. Uh, no, 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 goblins. No, no, love goblins fire. love fire. <laughs> okay, Mine well, says it right here. Goblins all right, it's there, yeah, but you don't like being the victim of it. So you're going to take. Oh, well, they're taking 19 points of fire damage, and on your turn, you'll take. 1d8 persistent fire damage. He oh. set you on fire. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> That's two actions. Uh, third action, he's going to try to beat... Uh, he'll try to beat Tuffy with the third one. Okay. So third... Well, it's secondly, the second attack. And do uh, rogues get uncanny dodge in this? Do, is it on your sheet? I, I don't... See, on, I wouldn't know on. where to look. That's the problem. I I don't think so. It would be under special abilities. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, deny advantage. I do not see. I don't see that. Um, no, no. Okay. All right. You have a bunch of really cool abilities on there, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. did roll it. So I rolled. So this is a second attack, so it's only a plus four. Plus that, 21? Uh, 21 does not hit. No, it does not. I'm on your sheet, actually, and I missed by one. All right, so that is his turn. Sorry, Moogie. <laughs> he really doesn't like you. Moogie, it is your turn, and I'm going to do the, the damage first. Two points of fire damage. What do you want to do? Um, hmm. uh, I think I'll just try to mess Make him up from the inside. The Christmas stuff now, right? You're going to do what? possibly miss. Um, I'll try <laughs> a shocking grasp on him. All right. Going to grab him by the snowballs, aren't you? Going to grab him by the coal balls apparently <laughs> go ahead and do it uh i believe it's an attack roll uh yes this is sadly only a level one spell but i only i have a bunch of fire spells but that's not gonna help me sorry <laughs> i have like i have more fire spells than everything else actually 
You don't think he, he's got a brazier, but fire fire spells will hurt him. I'll give, I'll throw that one in for free. Are you kidding? That's what I asked earlier. Oh no, you know, I I gave you other information. I can decide what to give you, and I gave you I think what was the two most important things that you kind of need to know about this. Hmm. All right. It is really kind of strange, isn't it? Because <laughs> he's got this brazier on him, but it doesn't say anything about immunities. It doesn't say... Well, I don't know any of this information, so I'm assuming yeah. he's immune to fire, so okay, I'm that's, that's Shocking Grasp. That is very fair. And you know, Shocking Grasp is a great spell, so... Uh, that'll be a 24 to hit. Uh, that does not hit. Oh, well... So, so hard close. to reach through when you're inside. You have a re- the remember, you have a reroll, Moogie. You I do. was on a 13, so you still chances have a re- are going to be low. I will use my point, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Okay, come on, Moogie. Yeah, that's a four, so Fuck. nope. Sorry, Moogie. Um, roll, make a make a d20 check to break the persistent fire. That's a nat one. Um, no eyebrows. <laughs> for Moogie. Uh I still have one action. You do. Um can he oh, escape from sucks. the brazier? All of this sucks. Everything sucks. Out of the fire. Yeah, my acrobatics is like only a three. I'm not escaping. <laughs> uh I will attempt battle medicine okay you can't and actually you gar- you're guaranteed to it's guaranteed to succeed on yourself you can yeah but i kind of want to get more because i'm literally down to 16 hit points so you have do you have to make a roll if you want you got to make a dc 20 yep to get more points back uh what do i roll is it a skill <laughs> It is, uh, yeah, it is a medicine check. Medicine, okay. Yeah, make a medicine check. <laughs> Such a dick, Frank. Okay, 14 plus 13 is over 20. Okay, so uh, add add an extra 10 points. Make roll, I believe it's 2d8. 2d8, okay. If I recall correctly, I can look it up. Yeah, sure. three total. All right, add, hold on one sec, let me look up medicine <laughs> We want to do treat wounds. So, all right. So you get 15. I start pulling out ointments. <laughs> no, ointment. Uh, the preparation H isn't going to do what you thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different okay, kind of okay. burning. <laughs> well, what was your total was your, all right. So you get 2d8. All right. So you get 2d8 2D plus points, 10. So plus 13. Yeah. I got 13 back. So it's something. Yep. Yep. I'll just be dead next round. That's all. <laughs> no, okay. it doesn't work like that. Okay. Sorry. That, that dead your... in two rounds. All right, I'll still so be in we're... the brazier. Frog, right. much, do what I said. Frog, <laughs> Frog, you get to do your own thing. You don't have to do what you said. Okay. And that's, uh, and that's not going to work. We are. are... <laughs> no, it won't work. Does Frog Munch know that fire is a viable weapon? With you know a 33 what, crafting it, from way back when. Yeah, you may. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fire will hurt this thing. Okay. There's nothing in it that says. It just says, but I'll give you its immunities. Bleed, death effects, disease, doom, drain, fatigue, healing, mental, necromancy, non-lethal attacks, paralyzed, poison, or sickened, unconscious. There's nothing that says fire. It's immune to fire. Okay. I think I have a plan then. I pull out my pussy cat and a bottle. I was about to say, did Blake just walk in? (laughs) Oh, wow. Hey, I'm pulling this from back in the first one. I pull out a bottle with a carpet wrapped around it and I take it to this cat and whoosh and I throw a bottle of lightning at the uh, thing. uh, uh, At the frosty. With a 19 on the die, 29 to hit. That will hit. Okay. I don't remember what a bottle of lightning does in damage. I believe it's 
2d6. But the important thing, the important thing is that it is flat-footed, which I think is not a condition it's immune to. Because you uh, didn't say that? Nope. Flat-footed is not a condition. It can be sneak attack, too. So I thought the important so thing was that Moogie's going to take this damage as well. No, I'm not. That's no, no, what no, I not was going to say. Not this time. <laughs> no, it, no. And I, Alchemist, I believe, can also... Uh, a bomber can, uh, if they hit, yeah. I should probably say out loud whether I'm going to do splash damage or not. I can choose whether I do splash damage or not. And I'm going to assume case, you're not, not because it's a single target. Uh, but I have to figure out where lightning, bottle lightning, there we go. Uh, 2d6, so uh, that is uh, uh, 10 lightning damage. And it is flat footed until my next turn. Which should I... hopefully make it easier to hit. All right, wait, how much damage did you do? 10 lightning. 10 lightning. Okay, it will be flat footed, but it doesn't seem to go through its hardness. That is all right, because now I pull out one of my ornaments with the glitter and the little liquid and the nail on top it. that I gave the kids. And I push the little nail in, the liquid goes in, and I chuck it at it. And it Burns oh. in the fire. That's another 19 on the die. You're going to hit it. Uh, oh, wait, uh, minus uh, five? Which is actually, I should be adding one to all of these as well. Um, but that is going to be plus seven, 26. That hits exactly. <laughs> oh, is the that f- after flat footed? Oh, no, that's before flat footed. You actually, you made it Yeah, hit. that's right. Remember, it's flat. <laughs> right. So right now, it's AC is twenty four. Uh, and this is alchemist fire. So this one does two d eight fire. Uh, that is seven. I am a goblin who likes to burn it, and so it will also. Uh, Guys are not it. that far from getting the, to breaking this armor. By the way, you're not far. Oh, okay. So. Seven, eight fire damage, and then it takes three persistent fire damage uh, uh, every round. So I suppose if it doesn't have the hardness away, that it'll doesn't take matter. it. So that was the persistent is on its turn. So I don't think that does any damage. You only did not eight? yet. Eight. Okay. Yeah. So I will put down the three though on there. Okay. And then finally, finally, I will throw. Unless it makes the unless it makes the check to uh, get rid of it because there is a check for that. Okay, and so this to... one, last one, uh, ten on the die. Uh, I don't think that's does, gonna make it. Yeah, does flat footed bring it down to the teens? No. Yeah, then no. Uh, and uh, my wild... Wait, wait, wait. You don't actually get that one because you made a check at the beginning of round. That is an action. No, I made a check at the beginning of the previous round. Oh, okay. oh, all right. So you were just yeah. counting out. I thought you made another check. All right. No matter. All right. So, all right. So if you miss. I miss uh... burn Santa. <laughs> sure. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Uh, Tuffy. All right. Uh, since he's flat-footed, I'm gonna try sneak attack. Uh, yep, you can sneak attack. Okay. Uh, and you're flanking with with yeah with Dita anyway. So yeah, yeah. So okay. So let's see. Uh, eighteen plus thirteen to hit. Eighteen plus thirteen is gonna hit. What the hell is eighteen plus thirteen? <laughs> Come on, you can do that. It's a hit. No, no, it's a hit. It's not, it's not a crit. That's all I not care about. A crit. No, no. What does a... flat footed do to it? Wait, 20, it's 24. So oh. 18. What'd you say it was 18 and 13? It's 30. Yeah, yeah 18 no, not quite. and 13. Not so, quite. Yeah. Okay. But so, you hit. Uh, okay. And you so get sneak could... attack. Okay. So with that. <coughs> I am going to roll uh, the damage. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Come on. She's, uh, so she's not... point, points of piercing damage in the, uh, from the sneak attack and uh, seven points of piercing damage. Regular. You're not... Okay, and... that's that's one. All right. Okay. Still, so that's the, one action. the The crack is starting to form in the armor, but it's not quite there yet. Okay, so I'm going to attack again. Yep. I was going to say, oh. the crack is the halfway point, right? <laughs> yes, the crack. And then this is going to get a whole lot easier. Finish pantsing, pantsing them. Finish pantsing them. Except for maybe ah. Moogie. Moogie's kind of... Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is I may thing? actually I have an idea. Um, sure. It's fine. Actually, I don't think... I'm going like, to die. I think basically he puts you on fire. The way that the way this reads, goblins on fire. <laughs> All right. Oh man! What'd okay. you roll for your second attack? Uh, my second attack is uh, oh, roll another nineteen on the die. I did roll another nineteen on the die, oh! so nineteen plus nine. So, so it's, that hits. Okay. Go ahead and roll, and you get sneak attack again. Okay. Take it's gonna it be out. so freaking. He's going to be so freaking close oh, on this. Jesus. Oh, if you get okay. the third one off, you'll get it. What? Uh, the third 12 one? points piercing. Wait, how much? 12 points piercing. Okay, 12 points piercing. And how many points? Uh, following that is uh, with the... Uh, Everything should just be figured together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So 12 plus uh, 2, 14, and uh, 3, 17 points. Of damage total. So close. Not quite. Uh, Not quite. Either. Wait, yeah. did you have one? Do you have one more attack, right? Mm-hmm. I do. A, go ahead, roll again. Okay. Oh, but this is shoot for the fences because it's a minus 10. <laughs> you roll that 20. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. Damn it. Okay. That was so, great. Great turn, though, Tuffy. Dita. Yeah. yeah Come I on, Dita. <laughs> Uh, and, first one. And I'm going to say you're flanking it, so it's flat footed uh, to you. Nine plus. Actually, it's flat footed, anyways, because of Kyle. So 25. That hits. Because you, and yes, yes, Frog Munch is a thing. Ensured you hit that. Uh, Go to roll damage. Six and four is 10 plus two is 12. All right. So Second here's is- what happens before you're dead. So the armor, the armor on this thing. So like you you notice that it the big crack happens. And it leaves this like you you can sort of see the gears and stuff inside, and now you can really get in and fuck it up. Sure. Go ahead and roll again. You get it exactly, by the way. Uh 14 plus 9 is 23. That oh, will definitely I, 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 hit. Uh, I'm sorry, 14 plus 11. So I keep looking at the dagger. 25, right? Yep. 25, he's flat. He's, oh, it's also, he's flat-footed, so his AC is actually that. It's a lot easier. You hit. Uh, nine more hit points. Okay, so that's, uh, this is going to go way faster. Uh, and how, you can... How bad, how bad does he look? Oh, he looks about half. I'm going to... I'll use my third action to pull Moogie out of the fire. Oh, All shit. Right. I didn't know we could Make... do that. Sure. I mean, and remember, you're talking about me. I will absolutely do that. Go ahead and make... I'm going to say it'd be an athletics check to uh, do that. Oh, yeah. 17 plus 13, 30. You got him. You pull him out. You're welcome. But Moogie is still, but the thing of it is, Moogie is still on fire and he still takes persistent damage. Oh, I still have enough check. pee. <laughs> well, you're, unfortunately, you are out of action, so. Uh, <laughs> and you can't is, use an excuse. You know, I wouldn't piss on you if oh, you were on fire. Oh, no, the creature's still alive. I'm so scared I need to wet my pants. <laughs> well, guess what? It's the creature's turn, and you take just... three fire damage. <laughs> oh, that's right. I will take three fire damage because it does count. <laughs> it does count. 
Don't say anything about being immune. It's really weird because you get a friggin' brazier in it, but it's nothing so, about fire yeah. immunity. <clears throat> it's the clay lining. All right, so I'm the, uh... I think I think he's a little annoyed at you, at, uh, uh, Dita. I think he's going to take that big stone fist and try to friggin' do what he to you what he did to Boogie. Ooh, that's not a great roll. Well, I mean, he's got a really good attack roll. That is a 26. That hits. Okay, so he's going to do... He's going to roll much better this time than I did on Moogie. That's a 16... Wait a minute, that's more than that. What am I doing? It's 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Now, when do I get my attack of opportunity special ability? Only if he like does like in D and D. Well, if he moves out of your range or something like that. So if somebody steps away without like, uh, so you don't automatically get attack of opportunity. No, it's only it's it's okay. only on thing. I'd have to look up the list. No, but basically, fine. mostly it's when they move out of if they move move uh, out of a threatened area you have. Gotcha. So it's not like D and D where they move out of your attack range. If they move, stay in your attack range and still move that, you know, still move out, you still can get that attack. Cool. There's no more five foot steps for safety. But most people don't have attacks of opportunity either. Warriors do, fighters do. All right. So when I say that was, that was 2d6 plus, I gave you the damage 22. 22. And then he's going to do burn alive. So he's going to, oh, yeah, that's right. So his action is to grind you into the thing. So that is. I should have left you in there, Moogie. <laughs> he would have dropped as a point of point, point of thing. He would have dropped Moogie and gone after somebody else. It was still a good move, though. So I wasted uh, take my time. No, thirteen points of fire damage. No, I think it was friggin' heroic and it was really awesome. They give him a hero point. You know what? I, I, I haven't used any of them. He yet. hasn't used it. I have but two. You can have two. You can or have up whatever. to three. You may need it. If you oh, yeah. die, you actually blow. If you actually die, you blow all your hero points, and you won't die. I have three hit hero points already. Now you only have two. You should only have two. It, no, yes. that's on the sheet. Don't worry about the sheet. I, oh, okay. You only have. You start with one. I gave you another one. Okay, I don't gotcha. know. I, I think, think you that's should good. just ignore what Carol says. Go with the sheet. Shut up. If it says you have. <laughs> Plus, right. I have hard to kill. Feet also, or statue needs to make our statue does not get rid of the persistent fire damage. Boogie, it is your turn. Oh, you will take because you're on fire three points of fire damage. Moogie, you still up, Moogie? Did we lose Moogie? Yeah, yep, no, we did lose um, Moogie. Uh, he should be still up, actually. Yeah, I'm still up. I'm actually okay. Sort of. Let's he see. healed himself. Yes, I gave him the persistent fire damage first. I did three points. Oh, yay! It's not too much. He's on uh, fire. Yeah, like my my clothes are on fire. This I'm like a burning Yule fire. log. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad. like a burning Yule log. What are you gonna do though? I am going to try to. We have gone way over, but I don't care. This is I know. too much fun. Uh, Trust me, we're aware how we're aware. Hey, (laughs) hey, you know, you know, (laughs) it's the holiday special, folks. So it's also, yeah. Also, considering the fact that Frank was complaining about not having any fights, well, this is why you didn't have any fights until now, because this was going to be a beast. Oh, I didn't realize that was also that. Okay, yeah. Okay, I forget how many. So we have we have a total of three hero points. Was that what was going on? No, no, you have one. (laughs) Oh, damn it. I may award you another if I feel inclined All right. to. Uh, well, hopefully I don't suck. Well, I have 20. Uh, I'm going to attempt to searing light this biatch. All right. Uh, I'm going to light up his nose and try to make it like Rudolph. <gasps> mm-hmm. um, uh, you're going to boop him? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give him the boop from range. All right. Make I'm going to give check. you a hero point in case this fails. <laughs> I grant you one for giving him a boop on the street. Um, That's great. 25. That did not fail. All right. Excellent. You get a hero point. Okay. Roll your damage. So. And it's all going through. 
Mm, eight, ten. Eh, could have been better, but that's fine. Eighteen, fire, and holy. It's, it's fine. Either one works. All right, he's not looking great. If you can tell, a statue's so not like a cut. Two... Yeah, I'd say Frog Munch can probably tell he's not looking great. Uh, what are you doing for your third? We're all gonna die. Run! Ah! <laughs> and then and Dan. Um, and Dan. Yeah, I can't get. I can't get him out of that. I have like no athletics. No. Satisfaction. He can get himself out of it. It's can fine. I use that as an action? Let's see. Is that one action or more than one action? To do what? The healing staff. Uh, let me look it up. I position myself just right. It looks like I'm right there in that no, chair. It's, it's part yeah, of, I know. It's part it of casting heal. No, no, two? it's part of casting heal, so I can't do that. Okay. Uh, well, I guess you I could one in. action. You could I'm gonna, one I'm gonna reach in and battle medicine. Um, ah, that'll work. What's his face? Not uh, Dita. Dita, yes. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm literally just like, oh, eh. here's time. the ointment. <laughs> just throw it at him. He's got that cooling ointment. Uh, yes. So icy that's a hot. Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, I got icy hot on me. That's a twenty-one, so that makes it. That does make it. That makes the big so the better he will one. heal a whopping um twenty one points of uh, of health. Very nice. So make bam. a make a d twenty check to deal with the persistent fire. Uh, fifteen. What am I adding here? That's it. Nothing, okay. and you make it. All right. That is the that is the DC to. I doused okay. my flames by sticking my hands into flames. Gotcha. Yeah, makes you did sense. apparently. <laughs> Go figure. All right, and that would be your turn. So, uh, Frog Munch, it is your turn. Frog Munch, <coughs> uh, maybe we uh, answer this question of putting your hand into flame quick. Once again, pulls out his uh, uh, Frosty the Snowman mug, mixes the. The reindeer and the elf blood <laughs> stirs it up with Frosty the Snowman's nose. And that's one action. Second action, I assume uh, uh, Moogie is okay with drinking this stuff. As I try and force feed it down Moogie's throat. It's <laughs> goblin cooler. It's goblin Some cooler. of it's spilling out and putting out the flames on Moogie. Moogie's, Moogie's out. Moogie put the as as, as, I, as I'm, gur- I'm gurgling the word, consent, consent first! <laughs> And Insane. that does. Oh, there, there's my murder hobos. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And I do three d six plus six with healing, so that is twenty two points of healing. Nice. Straight into his gullet. Good job. Ironically, I'm back to where I was at the beginning of this fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Um. So let's cross off that one, and then to keep the flat footed fun going. I I then right across the cat's back in the wrong direction. You never actually want to rub a cat. (laughs) Just a lightning bottle right back at Frosty. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Uh, That is going to be a 22. Oh, that hits. 22, yes. That hits. That hits. Uh, and did anyone remember what my fire damage was? No. Because I don't. I don't. Uh, nine lightning damage, and it is flat-footed uh, again for a full round. This guy is on. That's great. Okay, this guy is on. He's getting a death door. Uh, let's see. Tuffy. Tuffy. Um, all right. Yeah, he's going to take flat-footed. advantage of the situation. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, he is gonna roll to hit. Uh, let's see. All right, uh, eighteen plus thirteen to hit. That wait, eighteen uh, plus thirteen is thirty-one. Mm-hmm. That's a critical. You yay, also so... double. You double your sneak attack too. Oh, okay. So I roll all the dice. You roll all the dice. <laughs> oh, I'll go let Santa out since this thing seems to be over. 
<laughs> You're still stuck in the brazier, mister. <laughs> oh, man. I'm literally like rolling all the dice. Okay. Oh, oh it probably it probably is over. Okay. It, it doesn't have that much hit. He's he's oh. at death's tour now. <clears throat> and constructs do not make death saves. <laughs> 25 points of damage. 20, 20. Okay. How do you want to do this, man? How do you want to destroy it? I'm I'm reaching up inside it with that with that pip cane, man, and I am just like shoving it right, right up Frosty's wazoo, man. Just so you basically you're putting it in that crack in the armor. Exactly. And you, be, you go right up through and you just like wires and things all get cut. In the middle of them, and he suddenly just doo, 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 doo. the brazier is still going, <laughs> but but the con is construct is down. Down. <laughs> All right. So that means we do have to resolve Frosty one thing, though. Down. We have to resolve. We have to resolve Dita. I look at it and I say. Thumpity thump thump motherfucker. There you go. Uh, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. Uh, Dita, you can get out, but go ahead and make a, make a D20. Just a D20. No bonuses. Six. Oh, no. <laughs> so you're going to take, you're going to take one point of fire damage. Whatever. Yeah, can you go like, roll again? We can see how many. We can see if we can actually get this before fire. he dies. Oh, Jesus, you gotta roll fifteen. Take four more points of fire damage. What, what do? can someone else do to help him out with this? Yeah. Yes, uh, I'm just gonna smack no, him on the head with the healing staff and cast a heal on him. How many? Nine. Jesus. I'll right, go ahead urinate do that. on him. All right, so six. <laughs> I'm gonna let it. Yeah, there is like an amount you actually let it go. It is a six? while. 24. What's yep, he trying six, to get? 15. It's persistent fire. He just it's he just keeps going until he puts it out or a minute elapses. So it's 10 checks. So again? Yep, keep going. If somebody wants to that 20. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm gonna heal him while this is going on. Done. All right, go ahead and heal him. Done. No more damage. I'm only down no. 44 hit points. So <laughs> okay, so what do you guys 79. Do? Santa looks a little singed and maybe a little cold. I say, hey, Tubby, we're here to get you home. As he's flaming. Let's go, fatty. <laughs> My name is Santa. Jeez, show a little respect. I, I don't have jobs. eyebrows, bitch. Guys, get this isn't way. fatty. Let's leave him. Yeah, you this me. isn't who we're looking for. Fat fuck. <laughs> Mrs. Claus <Yeah. laughs> sent us. But this Dolly really chair. misses you, so <laughs> we're here. We're here oh, for that. Dolly I, I, I tap, Dolly's I tap, been asking where the twenties. <laughs> I tap Tubby on the shoulder and say, "We need to go make it snow to make everybody happy," because he and I didn't that use our do. uh, snow spells. Yes, I, what, I what? tell Santa. I why say, would I? What? What? Why? Why? Nobody believes in me, anyways. Hey, Santa, why would Santa, I get your ass in the sleigh the or I'm going to use it on you. <laughs> Santa, Santa, there the are two kids. That, person believes in you. There are two kids and there is the concierge, Iggy. You remember Iggy. Iggy believes in you, but he was disappointed in that one year that it, the one was, thing he asked for oh, was, was snow and he did not get it. No, no, he did get it. He's oh, actually he sitting at no, yeah. no. We'll say it was a bike. <laughs> a you should bike. do it again. It's always a bike. Oh, you should, I was gonna say you just make it snow. Again. Oh, you mean the bike? Oh, yeah. I couldn't get him that. Oh, I'm I'm walking out time. because my eyebrows are still burning. So, <laughs> well, no, they aren't. You put out the fire. Well, yeah, Moogie's ointment was on the other end of the staff, so I'm still got some pain. <laughs> but what was this? Did you say that people actually do believe in me? Yes, right, Santa. Yeah. right well, there. Surprisingly, <laughs> take, take, well, you get to free me and then take me to them. So the cage is locked. I, I say, well, you know, I can't take you to the one person who truly believes in you, but she sent me with a gift. And I pull out a bag and it's Dolly's coat melt from her <laughs> implants. 
<laughs> well, you need cookies right. if you're going to give them that. <laughs> but you do have to get them out of the cage. Yeah, the Tuffy's, Tuffy's going to... As I walk down the hall, do I see a key hanging on a thing? And who are the other two people in the cage? Yeah. No, there's nobody else in the cage. It was just Santa It was and just Santa in the cage. Santa's okay. in the cage. and The other two cells were empty? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So so Tuffy's going to do a uh, thievery to try yep. to pick the lock? Go ahead. Okay. And if anybody wants help with, uh, anyone wants to aid, they can. I will do. aid. Can so I what use are you gonna crafting do? to aid with this? Just be like, yeah, sure. this is that kind of lock. I will say you can use crafting. Uh, 27 in th- thievery. I don't help him at all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Did you, you, you roll a one? I rolled a one. Oh, do I no. take him down? Uh, you take him down a point, but he still makes it. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's take... the 1999 model. It's... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it was a difficult but not a very hard check. You mean this one? Okay, <laughs> Tuffy's pop a lock service. <laughs> All right, so you guys get them out as you, you go back through, and you're going back through that, the going back through Hinkle's office and make perception checks. I don't think I actually wrote this 19. in here, but something I was thinking about. 19 is uh, uh, it. Four does not make sense. Four doesn't she shit. Yeah, does Santa say what he was doing? Is that doing 30, in a wait, is that 31? 20, 21 for 13. Okay. 21 right. for Tuffy. 21. What'd you say, Woogie? I got a 19. You got 19, 21, frog lunch. 19 as well, but all right, 21. All I right, asked the... Santa what he was doing in a dungeon to begin with. Well, I was looking for some fun. <laughs> well, the doctor, the doctor. Your doctor told me, you know, that nobody believed in me and I really need to go on vacation. I was sick and run down. He's like, you really need to take some time off. And I I believed him. But he showed up. In the dungeon specifically, not at the vacation. No, no, I was there. But he and he and he and this magic, the guy I think owns this place, they both showed up and they, they knocked me out and I woke up and I was here. That's, they... that's a story for Mrs. Claus. Yeah, we'll save that for Mrs. No, Claus. No, that, that, that is what happened. I mean, this is... Sure, Santa. <laughs> I was calling for help, okay? Oh, oh, well, you got help. <laughs> so... I didn't want to be down there. They were. I think they were trying to stop Christmas. No, no. I mean, I think I think this was totally not, not what you expected. So, yeah. So... Are there any matches in this office? Who's this doctor? Yeah, no, no. I already answered that question. No. Frog Damn Munch it. is going to pull out the alchemical fire ornaments and just pop every one. And as we're walking away, I'm just throwing them in at those perfect places to make sure this place burns down. You see, by the way, not because the... I don't like the owner, but no one has to know that Santa has a dirty, kinky side. Yeah, <laughs> it's part exactly. Of the we're covering. We're covering. Yeah, but you Santa's guys, foot, but you guys tracks. didn't see any dirty, kinky things in that dungeon. It was literally hey, we're making right, wild guys. assumptions here. We really did are. not see. I never any saw kinky. anything like that. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't do no, an empty dungeon. No one else will either. We didn't do like a detect magic, so it all could have been glamoured. Exactly. <laughs> so. You know what? I take off my French maid costume, leave it here to burn as well. So if anything ends up being salvageable. This is why I let this game run on too long, because honest to God, this is freaking amazing. All right. But there was a 21 perception check, and you'll notice, you'll notice you know, some of the papers on the, on the desk because that's a place of mas- magical, but it's a few papers. And you notice like on the top of one, it says, it just says villain on the top of it. <laughs> you that's know, if you writing. look a little quick, so is it like quick, villain, colon, and then like a namespace to go there? No, no. It's <laughs> like, it's the title of an organization or something. Oh, oh okay. God. Okay. <laughs> So, so and you light the place on fire and you have to go before you can really read anymore because you light the place on fire okay uh, Santa, do i have enough time to snatch what i see uh that says villain before we we scuttle out of there sure okay so yeah, what sure do i have to roll 
Nothing. You mean Nothing. it's just a paper on a desk? You just grab it. Yeah. So I. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Tuffy's you grab task. this post-it that says "villain this plan." <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Tuffy just grabs it. You All know. right. And you guys get. I assume you get back on the sleigh. Go back to the inn. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll just give a little wrap up here. So basically, you're back to the inn, Iggy, and you gather the family, and that's the five people you needed. Who basically convinced Santa that no belief in Christmas is not dead. And Santa will go out. The one thing you're surprised you didn't go is try to find Vixen. But Vixen is in the stables outside the place. So Santa goes up, gets Vixen. Because he actually basically just rode on Vixen all the way down. We didn't take a sleigh. That so poor who bastard. told Vixen about Blitzen? And then he takes those reins that were useless, but they were there. And he hooks Vixen up, and you all get in, and you head home. I grab right. some cookies from the dessert bar, and we all have cookies and Dolly's uh, goat milk. Oh, it's <laughs> delicious. Are, are you we're gonna, gonna, we're, we're gonna wait, have to you take a doll? In My thing is, you deflated Dolly. Just oh, no, no, no. See, it's an actually very intricate uh, design oh, okay. that I had made from previous. Time. Oh, so it's just like a dispenser. So, oh, that's a kink. It's like the Maloko <laughs> milk bar. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you have to change the goat milk fairly often or it gets clogged in there. And then you got to get a wire brush. <laughs> Oh, that's the no. that, that that's the the next image. It's us like like uh, Clockwork Orange sitting in Santa's shop with Dolly with the, the, doing the tap. And as you're flying back, you look at that paper. I assume that you swiped, and it'd be like a notice. And it's basically it says, "We're sick of we're sick of." I'm going to put this. Basically, we're tired of always losing. We're tired of Christmas always coming. It's time to end it. And it'll be like basically the plans, you know, get Santa come down here and then snag him and lock him up until after Christmas. Is it signed? <laughs> this missive? It, it'll have they'll have um, H Hinkle on there, Professor H Hinkle. Signed B Guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys save Christmas and your jobs. Hey, all right, we're still uh, still you know gainfully employed. <laughs> yeah, sorry uh, I went late, Frau but Frog Mart, Frau Frog Munch has uh, burned down a couple of buildings so far, and. Just bomb the entire way down and bomb the entire way back. Frog Munch, listening to this name, has a heart of twinge in his heart, and he sneaks into the good and naughty list, and he puts H. Hinkle onto the good list this year. (laughs) (laughs) Either delivering Santa back into his clutches or changing his heart. Who knows? I mean, he maybe he wrote, what the hell is it? I will not be mean to Frosty 500,000 times or whatever the hell it was. All right. Thank you guys for playing. That was, that was just, that was crazy. I know it said, sorry, it went long, but. Um, hey, the fan art. But now you know why. The hook. <laughs> I mean, it year. was last year and it said, if people, I'm, uh, I'm at uh, muses underscore touch on Twitter. And um, if you go there, or I believe, Frank retweeted it. Um, and you guys can retweet it too if you want. But that fan art's on there if you want to check it out. It was really, really great with the four goblins at the club. Um, and so I had to throw that in there. Thank you guys so much for playing. Anything you want to say, Frank, to wrap us up? And Merry uh, Christmas. No, uh, we're going to have a sketchy schedule next week. We will be doing <laughs> Tread on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, we'll have Iron DM on Tuesday. Uh, after that, uh, no Saturday, obviously, and no Sunday. So from all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., happy holidays. We uh, hope you and your family and loved ones have a great season. Don't catch COVID. That's just No, don't catch COVID. Stay or whatever safe. the hell Kyle and I have. I told you not to kiss me. Stop and kissing s- me, Kyle. And don't Christmas catch, was saved, so don't catch the very, be coming. Don't catch the very contagious stupid either. 
Yeah, don't catch that. <laughs> I got that from Frank directly. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, we've got it so much, we're immune to that shit. <laughs> no, I'm never going to be immune to stupid, unfortunately. All right. Uh, Where's that? And as I said, thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you people on cred. I can't wait. Happy holidays. Right away. Folks. Love you all. Hey.